morning. I think I've peaked already. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, got a gorgeous show lined up for you today. Wait till you see Jane Alcox, who nearly wasn't here. Project today. Shall we look at today's menu? Here we go. Coming today with me, John Scott. We've got Jane Alcox Spring Quilt at 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock, I've got all new K Facet. 10 o'clock, we've got Kaleidoscope Mini Quilt with Jane. And then at 11 o'clock, I've got Fabulous Fabrics and Fleeces. It's such a lovely day. It's such a gorgeous day. Have a look at this quilt, right? Have a look at this picture. It is... Look! Jane Alcock made that for us. You can make it too using brand new K-Facet fabrics. That's the 8 o'clock hour. Then one of said fabrics, which I've then got in the 9 o'clock hour. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? <gasps> look! 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 That is, oh, sorry. that is one of about, how many have we got? About 12 new fabrics in now. 12, 15 new fabrics now. Gorgeous case, that's nine o'clock. Then at 10 o'clock, Jane's back, making the mini quilt. Look at the, if you love English paper piecing, look at that. I've got three bundles and we've got the instructions of how to make that. Make sure you've got lots of time because it's lots and lots. Oh, beautiful. And then the last hour, I've got brand new fabrics and fleeces. Like it said, one of the said fabrics is this panel. Now you are going to love this. Look, they're quilt labels on a panel so you can cut them out. Aren't they gorgeous? On a panel, I'll keep holding it up like that. Oh, I can see one with chilies on. That's for your hot. What's it, what are the words above it? What's it say above the chilies? Stitched for, oh, are they gorgeous? So that's a panel coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. It'll be first up on the 11 o'clock hour because I'm warning you, I don't think we've got enough of those. I don't think we've already asked Harriet to order more. But, oh, she's got a face on her today, Harriet, I tell you. Oh, yeah, she saw me all lovely and smiley today. She's like, aren't you, Harriet? Anyway, oh, we'd love you to get in touch. This is how you can do it. Go to our website, www.sewingquarter.com, uh, and then you go to the front page, and you click... Oh, here it comes. It is coming. There you go. Press on Watch Today's Show. You'll get a bigger screen there. And then what you need to do is you do need to log in at this point. Oh, it's, things have already gone. Look. Log in. Uh, you need to log in. Then you see where it says on the right-hand side there, Message to Joe. You can write me a message there. You need to keep it to 140 characters or less because at your end you can keep typing. But at my end, we cut you off. Happy Monday. Um, if you scroll down the page, there won't be anything there. But if you scroll down the page, you said to say products from today's show. As I introduce the bundles or fabrics or threads or tools or whatever, they'll all appear there. You can click on them and pop them in your basket. The other thing you can do is roll, scroll to the top of the page. When we're doing a live auction, you see where it says add to basket. There will be a picture there of the, the item that we are auctioning. You can click on pop it in your basket. Put it in your basket. If you know you want it, check out straight away because it isn't yours until you've checked out. You can check out as many times as you like. One PMP for £2.95. Now I need to come just back quickly just to say, because the weekend was so phenomenally busy, I need to warn you that your, your, please bear with us because your, your orders might be delayed a little bit. We normally say between four and six working days. We sold so much over the weekend, I can't tell you how f f successful it was. Um, well, you'll be able to see. If you go to the website and go into clearance, you'll see what's left. It's a few patterns and uh, some cardboard, I think. You know what I mean? Um, so please, please, please bear with us. Bear with us, because it may be long. Well, it will be longer than your four to six working days. Uh, anyway, back to this. If you want to um, send me a picture or send me a longer email, you can do that at studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. I've also got two other things to tell you very quickly before we get on with the show. If you're a new buyer and you spend £10 or over, you'll get a free gift from us, right? You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. It will automatically put in your basket. You get two metres of randomly selected fabric with your first order. You don't have to do anything at all. All you do is spend £10 or over, not including post and packaging, on your very, very first purchase, and you'll get two metres of fabric. That's for new buyers. But for all buyers, right, if you spend £50 or over, you get this today. Oh, no, until stocks last. Until stocks last. I'll keep you posted. 
Uh, it's worth £12.99. Spend £50 or over. You don't need to do anything. They'll automatically be put into your, into your delivery. But it's only while stocks last. Now, if they run out... If, uh, uh, now, how do we know, Hannah, how it's going? OK, so Hannah from marketing will let Hannah from producing, who will then let me know from presenting, and then I'll tell Jane from sewing, uh, and we'll tell you how we're doing on those. But if you spend £50 or over, you get those. I bet they'll, they'll be gone before today, I think. They'll be gone before the end of today. Right, shall we have a look at Jane's quilt again? Because that's what we're doing this hour. It's gorgeous. Look at that, look at that, look at that. It's completely made, and made completely, of, uh, you've got some linear in there, some spectrum solids, but the main stars of the show are the brand new Cafe Facet Fabrics. Now, now I just need to explain, if you don't want to make the quilt, but you definitely want some new Cafe Facet Fabrics, I've got the whole range in the next hour. But we've put a bundle together for you. We've put this gorgeous bundle together for you here. Let me just show you through what you get. That one, that one's not there, that one goes up here. So what you get is you get half a metre of each of these new cave fabrics. Now, I wouldn't, I'd normally go half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, but I'm going to show you them. I'm going to show you them. We've got succulents. Half a metre. We've got... Was this one called poppies? I think it was poppies, wasn't it, that one? Poppies, yeah, poppy garden, poppy garden. You've got our orchids. You've switched me off, Hannah. You've got succulents in a different colour. You get half a metre of all of these in the bundle. You get this one, which is called, I think it's called Lacy Leaves, isn't it? Lacy Leaves Impassable. I've only got that in that one colour anyway when I come to... <gasps> and then the one I showed you at the beginning hour. Oh, the orchids. So you get half a metre of all of those K facet fabrics... Plus, you get one metre of the teal linear. Here you go, that's this one. You get a metre of that one. You get two metres of the cameo linear. And you get two and a half metres of the optical white. Everything to make the front and the binding on this quilt. Now, I'll need to explain something else to you. These are the instructions here. They're gorgeous. We'll go through them all when we go over to see Jane in a second. This is the one that was made for the magazine. Slightly different fabrics. Now, obviously, we've sold out of those fabrics, but I'll just get Jane to come over a second. This is the original one from the magazine. Oh, sorry, it's the back, though. There you go. So this is the one from the magazine where they've used slightly different... They've used different coloured capes and different coloured backgrounds there, but... Nice. Oh, look, yeah, can you do that shot with both of them on together? There, look, you see, so the one behind Jane is the one that Jane's made, and then this is the one from the magazine. Right, thank you, Jane. Now, what I, need to, what I do need to point out to you is in the magazine one, they used a scrappy... Uh, they used the scraps of the fabric to make the um, binding. We've, we've, we've made... Jane's made it out of this. Um, uh, because the, if you, there's not enough in here to make a scrappy binding. However, if you want to make a scrappy binding, I've got, like I say, the fabric's for sale in the next hour. So come on, let's go and see Jane. Let's get on. Let's get on. Let's get on. Good morning. How are you? Uh, excuse me. Why did I think it was £149? £99.99. £99. Wow. That is fantastic, That's isn't brilliant. it? Right. So why did you oversleep? I don't know. I don't. I didn't hear my alarm, or it didn't go off. I don't know which one. <laughs> anyway, so she's going to have three alarms from now on, like me. Um, but she got here safe and sound. It's fine, fine. And I love your frock. I've not seen that one before, have I? No. Is it new? Yes. Is it new vintage or is it new new? It's new new. Oh, it looks like one of your old vintage. Yeah, it does, ones. doesn't it? It's the Sainsbury special. That colour really. Re <laughs> it's what? It's the Sainsbury special. <laughs> They might be joining What's It this morning. They might they? be. Might be staying with us. Then you'll be wearing an Aldi special. Mm. Oh no, no, Asta, Asta special. Yeah. Um, I need to tell you. I need to tell you. Right, ten have already been checked out. Eleven minutes past, and ten have already been checked Goodness out. Goodness me, it's beautiful okay. fabric. Right, brand new case, brand new case, brand new case. Now it looks quite complicated. It's actually very simple. Okay, good. Now let's just have a look. Oh, where's my glasses? That's my glasses. 
The fine, I love, look at, keep looking at that quilt because it's just exquisite, isn't it? Now it's by Linda Clements. It's a spring, is, a spring has sprung is what it's called and the finish size is 83 inches square. Oh, the instructions are fabulous, aren't they? Got yeah, so, they're lovely, oh, clear. And... I mean, so many, so many pages of instructions and everything. It's fantastic. So let's let's make a, let's have, is it made of blocks then? Let's have a look. Yeah, we do a, it's a, it's a nine patch block. Where's, where's, can you show me where the block is yes, then? Yes, it's just from there along. Oh, so now, what's it called? Is it called Paris on Point? No, mosaic tiles or something like that. We've got a, uh, we've got a, um, so this is a block here. Yes, that's a block that's there. That's a block, yeah. So, so that there, it, it's gorgeous. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, morning, Jane and John. P.S. From my first message, this is the only message we've got from you, John. Ninety-nine pounds, ninety-nine. Oh my goodness, John! Fantastic bike. Your quilt is gorgeous, Jane. Thank Love you. Awesome. So, so it's a nine patch, and it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four by four with sashing. Yeah. Brilliant. And that's a block there. That's the block. Okay. Yes. So should we make one? Let's make one. There's so many flying out, I need to <laughs> warn you. And it's a brand new cave. It's a brand new, brand new quilt. And you'll get a packet of thread as well with it. Uh, oh now, and it's the sheeny shiny cotton thread, sheeny shiny cotton thread. It's a lovely thread. Right. Right. Let's do it then. Start with the square. Do you need to worry about direction or anything like that? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about direction because you're going to keep moving them around and right. it gets moved around in the quilt. So you could just quite send yourself dotty if you tried. And the pack and the prints are so big. I think it doesn't. And matter. you love these prints, don't you? They're gorgeous. Colours are just so vibrant and fresh. Yes. There's, there's more. There's even more designs coming up in the next hour. These are just the ones we've picked you for this quilt. Look at that, though. I'm sorry to keep going on about it, but look, look at that, though. Who says that? Look? I ain't bothered. Look at that, though. <laughs> Is it beautiful? Now, um, Hannah's a bit concerned because so many have been checked out already. What percentage of the total of that is that that's been, um, that has been uh, checked out? A third's already gone. Not just in baskets, checked out. And very nearing on the half now. I'm not surprised because it's 99.99 and it's just gorgeous. It's fabulous. Right, sorry Jane, I'll it's let okay. you get on. Six inch square. Yes. And then with the pattern, you're using the white squares. Right. And then you, for this one in the corners, you use the white square with the smaller... OK. Um, it's not teal, is it? What colour is that? Uh, no, that one is teal. That's teal, That's yeah. teal, because the, the other one's square. called cameo. Cameo, that's right. Yeah. So these squares are three and one quarter inch. All of this is in the instructions. All in the instructions. Half the stock's gone. Gives you all the instructions. Um, you do a lot of cutting of squares to start with. Yeah, three how many squares in total was it? 400 and something, wasn't yes, it? Yes, if you, if you follow Jane on Instagram, <laughs> she, when she cut them all out, she went, just the 436 <laughs> squares cut. So on the, on the small square, you're going to mark the diagonal. Yeah, start at the centre. Always start in the middle and work outwards just so that you don't stretch your bias. What I will recommend is that you do um, start your fabrics. Oh, what, best uh, press? Yeah, best press work. Um, just because you're working a lot on the bias when you're making the... So the, the less it moves, the better. So now, would you best press the whole sheet of fabric before you cut it? Or yes. do you cut your squares and then best press each little one? No, I best press all my fabric first and then cut. Right. Um, I've got two different uh, um, fragrances. This is linen. Nice. Yeah, linen fresh. That will make that one that smells like your laundry room, old fashioned laundry room. Or we've got the lavender. The larger bottle that we all sell with the lavender is sold out at the moment, and the scent free is sold out at the moment. There's the lavender one. Okay, Joe? Now, what you can do with your, back, with your little squares is you can mark a half inch past the original diagonal line. This isn't essential for the pattern, so you don't have to do it, but I'm just going to. So, so you've drawn the centre line, yeah, and now you're drawing half an inch on both sides, or just one side? On just one side. Okay. Is that, is that anything to do with the quilt? It's nothing to do with the quilt, but it just saves you a little bit of wastage. Oh, oh well, is that a Jane tip coming it's up a later? Jane tip, yes. <laughs> but do it from the beginning. From the beginning, right. yes. So you're going to prep, place um, the square on top of the square in the opposite corners. 
Does it matter which corners you do? No. Again, because you're going to move them around right, just okay. as long as they're so off the So if you did bit, these two corners by accident, it wouldn't make it any wouldn't difference? It wouldn't make any difference, no. Okay. As long as you did all of them the same, I think. But even oh, yes, then, I yeah, don't yeah. think yeah. that will make too much difference. Place a pin in the top and the bottom of the square just to hold it on the fabric, making sure that it's lined yes. up. Yeah. You don't have to worry that it's crossing over because you're actually going to press those back into the... Yes. ..to make the square again. OK. You can do a lot of chain piecing with this because you can do all your squares, pin them all on and then just... Of course. With some so don't use machine. a vanishing marker. No. Use a water erasable marker or, or pencil or yeah, something. Or some, it, it doesn't matter what marker you use because it won't show. Because no, no, no. I was just thinking it was a vanishing one and you've done all 340 <laughs> yes, of them. Yes, it might have all gone by the time. The bottom yeah. of the pile would be gone. It may have gone. Are you saying on the line or beside the line? On the line in this one. But on the original line that goes across the middle? Yes. And I am going to sew on that other line that I drew as well. Oh, are you? Yeah. Mm, it's caught up. Are you right that it's caught up? Yes, it's just caught up, isn't it? Yeah. Morning, John and Jane. Absolutely beautiful quilt. I've got mine already. Oh, Laurie. Uh, Kate has excelled herself with this collection, in my opinion. Hurry up, Mr Postman. Oh, wait till you see the whole hour of them in the next hour, Laurie. I think the colours are just... Beautiful, they're really vibrant, aren't they? You, especially that one, that, that um, orchid one. Is, I thought they looked like irises, but it's, it's orchids. So, so you're sewing along the line that you originally put and yes. the Jane tip line? Yes. OK. Uh, so there was another one. No, I've still got lorries here. Hello, John and Jane. Hello. Beautiful quilt, Jane. Thank you. I've got mine, yay. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you. Lynn, kiss, kiss, kiss to you too. OK, so take the pin out. Oh, have we got the iron on? Oh, I don't know. Did you ask Chris to put the iron on? Probably not. <laughs> the morning I'm having. Yes. <laughs> well, he should have asked, really. It's part of his job. Now, what, what, there was a big thing on Facebook yesterday about... It can't be new because you've not been in the weekend, have you? About Natasha and the floor manager and something that went on between them and how they were all like, laughing, and I don't know what it was. Oh. Right, I've got a brand-new pressing mat for you today. Lovely. <laughs> yes! And some, yesterday, we had the busy shift, right, yesterday, doing clearance, and halfway through it, Hayley came and go, here's your new pressing mat. And I'm like, uh, I'm only mm. trying to sell millions <laughs> of fabrics here, here's your new pressing mat. Uh, I'll just wait for the iron to heat up for you. OK, so we're going to press, place the quarter-inch mark of the ruler yeah. On that drawn sewn line. So yeah. I've sewn on the drawn line. Yeah. This ruler's currently out of stock, but you can use any of your root. Yeah, you've got any of your little square rulers, you could use yeah. those, couldn't you? Um, I just chose to, because we're milking the half inch. Yeah. yeah, just because it's a little Ooh. one and it doesn't. So you're cutting quarter of an inch. So if you don't do the Jane tip, you're cutting quarter of an inch away from mm, the line. line. Yes. Now, somebody was in recently, and I can't remember which guest it was making somebody else's quilt, and it said you didn't cut away those. No. And we just folded that back over the top of the fabric for stability, but you would suggest cutting them away on this one? It does on the pattern. Yes. And it's quite a big block, so it's quite stable anyway. Yes. Um, and also, um, if this fabric is slightly lighter weight, isn't it, than the Macau solid? Yes. So if you would have two layers of Macau solid next to the cave, it, it might, might be unbalanced. It might affect it, might it, it yeah. yeah. This is the background, the Have the you done one of those without showing me? Yeah, one I prepared earlier. Oh, OK. Thank you, Miss And Queen I Queen haven't Queen. I haven't marked the quarter an inch, so I'm just going to show you oh, the, yes. the opposite one. I'm just going to show you why I did it. Oh, OK. Because if you don't sew that, you've right, got... Right, OK. So just explain. On that one there, you did the Jane yeah, tip. You, I've sewn you sewed it. the extra line half an inch away. I marked it half an inch away. And then when you cut it, you've got two pieces with a quarter inch mark. Yeah. This one you haven't. I haven't done it. So you will end up with, and you know that we cut all those squares, you're going to yes. end up with hundreds, if not thousands, of bits of fabric like that, which us quilters can't bear to throw a piece of fabric that size away. No, exactly. Wait till you see what she's done with this Jane tip, right? So they, they go away. 
So you'll end up now with a, a lot of two inch half square triangles. Just from Just drawing from that line cuts, and yeah. drawing the extra line of stitching. If you do all of the, the units this way, you end up with 288 half square triangles. There you go. Not that she's bitter that she's done them. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll show you, because we've got them in a bag, haven't we? Yes, we will we have. show you those later. You don't need those for this quilt. No, they're just, a, they're just an extra bit, but and it just it, yeah. it will save we'll you time. We'll tell you about that. We'll tell you about that afterwards. Right. It just saves wastage, I yes. think. And you've got those, and you can make them into anything you want yeah. to. So we're going to press these now, and we're going to press them away. So that, although I wouldn't normally like the seam to be showing, I'm going to do it this way, because it, the fabric wants to lie this way. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah. I think if you try and push, press it underneath the pattern, um, it's, going to, it's, it's not going to lie so flat. Morning, John. Hello, Jane. Love your demos, Jane. Easy to follow, and I love the quilt from Crazy Lorraine. It is beautiful, Thank though, Thank you, isn't Crazy it? Lorraine. So there you go. You've got... That's your unit. OK, so what you've got to remember, then, is... The floral one or the pattern fabric has two white triangles yeah. and then the opposites. Now you're making, it'll tell you how many in the pattern yeah. to make, doesn't it? Yeah. So then you're also making white ones with the green uh, um, teal triangles on the corner. Yeah. yeah. Um, you need, you've got 16 blocks and you want from your, each pattern, you want one, um, 16 squares. And then from the white, you've got three of these in each block. So you want 16 times three, whatever that is. It tells, you, it tells you in the pattern. 48. Yes. OK. But then, so this one, do you use nearly all of the half quarters of the cake? You use yes. nearly all of you them need, up, don't you? You do you use nearly all of it. Um, you will have some left. And if you're, um, you might, because, um, is it Linda, the lady that made the yeah, top? Yeah, Linda, yeah. Yeah, she did do a scrappy binding. Yes. If you use some of the um, sashing fabric and some of this, you probably would be able to make your binding with the leftovers. Oh, okay. So, so you, do, you can do a scrappy one with the cave plus what's left over of the linear, two linear prints. Yes. <gasps> I've got a stock warning already. Oh, my gosh. How many? I've got fewer than 20 left. That's crazy. Uh, have a look at the quick... Sorry, Jane, I'm just going to drop a second. Yeah. No, only because only I don't want anyone to miss out. Brands making you today, Spring Quilt. It's called Spring is Sprung, the quilt. Um, I can't believe it's only... I, I mean, I know I'm not being, I'm not being flippant, saying, you know, £100 is £100, isn't it? But I was expecting it to be an awful lot more than that. You get eight and a half metres of fabric, in, <coughs> excuse me, including the Brands Banking UK facet, beautiful design by Linda Clements. Let's have a look at it. I'll tell you what, I'll read this, because we always read about the designer in here, don't we? Love Jane's quilt. I've just bought the kit. Have a fabulous day. Lots of love from Ellen in Lincolnshire. Jane, it must be lovely to be so popular. <laughs> All right, Linda Clements is a leading technical quilting expert. She's an editor and writer, and of course, quilter, who for 25 years has worked on many fabric and craft titles for leading craft publishers. Among the many quilters who have trusted Linda to ensure their books are are accurate and reader friendly are Lynn Edwards, Susan Briscoe, Pam and Nikki Lintop. Oh, so she's like a copywriter. Pam and Nikki Lintop. Uh, Mandy Shaw, uh, and Linda's own book, The Quilter's Bible, is the must-have guide to patchwork quilting and applique and includes everything she's learnt with the industry's best designers. Now, normally we read out uh, where her blog site and everything, but she's not got one on there, her website and everything. But it is Linda, we love it. Linda. Yes, when, when, if you think that she has, she's proofread or copyrighted or whatever they called it, all those other designers' books, then she's going to be thorough, isn't she? Barbara says, Morning, Joan and John. I couldn't resist when I saw the price for such beautiful fabric. No, I'm, I'm not surprised. No. So, for each... Oh, fewer than ten now. I'm sorry if you're watching on the repeat. I do apologise. Oh, oh, I can't even ask them to see if they can make any more, can I? Um, so, for each nine patch, you need how many of each, did you say? You need one of each print. So there's the six different prints in there, and then you need three with the white and the teal in okay, the corners. Then. What would happen if you made... How many prints are there? Six? Yeah. One, two, three, four. If you made them all in the same... Would it work if you made each block in the same fabric as well? I know I'm going off, off yeah, kilter Yeah, you could, here. but you would, you'd have... 
you need 16 blocks, don't you, in the six fabrics? So you're going to have one with more... Oh, right, no, one ignore me one then. The ignore, I'm yeah. only asking. But then now you've got some going in different directions now as well. Yeah. Have you just turned them or have you cut them differently? No, it's just, it's the same block. If I can turn it that way, look, they're all going the same way. They're oh, yes, 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 yes. So you just literally turn them. You just... Oh, turn. that's why... It forms like a chain. That's why, hang on, I'm just going to show you. Look, that's why you get such thorough placing instructions. Look. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, gosh, there's another page off from there. There's yeah, another page off from there. When look. you come to do your sashing and putting your borders on, it's a real... Oh, I think it's gorgeous. Right, okay. So then what do we do next? Do we sew them together next, then? Yeah, you're going to put them together to make a nine patch. So sew three rows together and then sew the rows together. Now, you're going to um, have seams here. Now, they don't nestle. They're sort of... They're not offset. Oh, they're opposite each other. They're not offset, but they are, um, if you want them to line up to make the, um, the pattern, they're a quarter, it's a quarter of an inch down. So you really do need to think about your quarter inch seam. Would you put a quarter inch foot, in, foot on, or would you? If you've got a, a quarter of an inch foot. Them, show you here. Sorry, Jen. No, that's fine. That okay. So when you sew them across, when you put them together like that, they're obviously not going to be anywhere near each other. But if you sew exactly one quarter of an inch down from there, then the seam, if you've, if you've sewn exactly a quarter inch on this one, your seams will match perfectly. Right there, Jane. Yeah. <laughs> Allegedly. Right, I've got a question from Wendy. Morning, John. Jane, could I put an extra border on the quilt with an extra HST, please? What's half, HST? Half, half square, square triangles. triangles. You could put another border on if you wanted to. Yeah, couldn't you? you could. You could. What I would do, this is what I would do. I would do a half that size in the green. Then I'd have my half square triangles and have the rest of the green coming out after it. So you yes. put a, a line of half square triangles down yeah. the middle. You, I would make that border that size. Yes. Do the half square triangles, which would be a little bit thinner than that when yeah. they came together, and then have a border that size again. Oh, uh, was there enough Just, fabric to do that? Probably not. You might need to order a bit more right. of the of the of the. Um, yeah, no, cameo. it's not the cape, it's this one, it's this one, Hannah, the, um, the cameo one. The cameo one's nearly always on, on our website, anyway. I don't know if all the half square triangles would be enough to do all the way around. What, those, those, those half square yeah. triangles? That... But you, would def you could maybe do it down the sides. Oh, OK. Or even at the top and bottom to make it more of an oblong. Oh, yes. So that it, you um, know, so it's not Morning, spoiled. John and Jane. Love the spring quilt. It's so very pretty. Thoroughly recommend Best Press. Makes pressing so easy. Love Julie in Flamborough. Oh, Yesterday yeah. we had a lady message in. And I said, oh, is that your surname? Is that where you live? You live? And it was Pocklington. Because I said, I love that name. Anyway, she, I won't say her surname, but she said, oh, no, my surname is this. And it was the most gorgeous name. It was fantastic. But I can't now say both of them together because no. people know who it is. Um, I'm ever so sorry. What's I'm saying? There's more people now have this in their baskets than we have stock. So how many, what percent is checked out? Did you say sorry? Right. Right, OK. We've got more people got it in their basket than we've actually got. If you've already checked out, you're fine. But there are more people wanting it than we've got in. We've got the team. Uh, Hannah said downstairs, that's because you upstairs. The team through there are desperately, desperately trying to make more bundles, but I can't guarantee. We'll keep you updated, but at the moment, if you've got it in your basket you haven't checked out, you need to check out now, because people are going to miss out. Oh, dear. It's my daughter's birthday today, so I've bought the fabulous quilt. Not sure it's for me or for her. Lots of love, Jeanette in Leeds. And happy birthday to your daughter, Jeanette. I know, I'd have to have it. That would look lovely in my bedroom. Is it the right colours? Huh? Is it the right colours? I've shown you pictures, you should. You said it was gold and blue. That'll still go. Yes, OK, it will. Uh, Julie, good morning, John and Jane. I finally stopped sobbing. Oh, she, she had no sobbing yesterday because she had no money to buy all the clearance <laughs> things. I finally stopped sobbing now and I've got more money to spend today. How's that happened, Julie? How's that? Oh. It's payday today, isn't it? Because it's the last day of the month. Oh, is it? Is that what it is? Do you pay your staff on the last day of the month? Well, if I had staff, I would, yeah. Well, the husband, <laughs> I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Pays me, bless me. Um, right, so a little tip for making sure you've got your quarter of an inch. Oh, yes, please. So where, they, where you line your squares up as best you can. Mine aren't very square. 
Um, where that seam crosses over, if you place your pin, you can feel underneath the other seam. Yeah. I run my nail across it. I don't know if that shows up. We're just up. coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, the seam it, yeah. there. If you place your pin along that seam and bring the point out where that sewn line is. Yes. When you come to do your quarter of an inch, if you just hit that mark, obviously you'll take your pin out as you get to it. Yeah. That's going to be the point where those meet, yes. those seams meet. Oh, Geraldine. Now, why was I talking about Geraldine this morning? Oh, Geraldine, you know that... You know that thing you asked me at Sewing for Pleasure? It's, it must be soon, because the sample's next door, so I'll find out for you. Uh, John, I've got no money left after the sale. It's beautiful. Could you sub me till next month? Well, I could, Geraldine, but there's, I, I think they might have all gone. Love the way you teach. Now, this could be read two ways. It could be, Jane, I love the way you teach, because it goes, love you the way you teach, Jane. But it could be, I love the way you teach Jane, John. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. that, couldn't it? I don't think it's that one somehow. I just went off a little bit there, but I've... <sighs> I've rectified it because this, where I went off, it goes into the seam anyway. But you can see, because I've left the pin in, you yeah. shouldn't, but I have. You can see that that seam line touches where that oh, pin yes, is. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, I need to tell you, there are only two that haven't been checked out now. So when you oh, press it's that perfect. Back, it's lined up. So that's the, that's the most difficult bit of the whole. That is, and I, I don't... Some oh. of them you can see, well, I haven't... to check? Well, there'll be lots on that one, because... <laughs> But there's a few where it doesn't quite hit, but in the overall scheme of it, and when it's quilted, yeah. it's not that obvious. Don't, don't get all worked up about getting them matching exactly. If there are a few threads out, I mean, obviously, if it's like a quarter of an inch or something like that, then unpick it and do it. But if it's just a, f a few threads, when it's pressed and you've got it quilted and it's sitting on your bed or the back of your sofa... And the first time you wash it... It's you're going not to going move to, anyway, yeah, isn't it? You're not going to see, to um, see that. Sandy, hello, John. I'm watching you from my sunbed in Greece. Oh, how lovely. Can't go ten days without my sewing quarter fix. Lots of love, Sandy. Oh. How nice. Oh, I just need some sunshine. Ooh, we do, don't we? We've had the summer now. It's gone. <laughs> don't be like that. It's going, to be, it's going to be like 1976. Not that we remember 1976. The hottest summer ever, wasn't it? Yeah. When, yeah. You, when you place the white square over the top of the pattern, it's easier, actually, to see... Where that where that yes. lines up because you the white on top of the pattern shows up the seam better. And if you've got a quarter of an inch foot or you're able to move your needle across for Which quarter of an inch. Which you both on that machine. Yeah, you don't you don't have to worry too much, but it's still nice to have that marker to see where you're aiming for in a way. there like that and you carry on making your nine patch so what I, this one the seams line up together against each other now if you wanted to you could press that that seam back so that they nestled or you can again just run your pin in against the side of the seam line yeah and that just holds it together okay um obviously i've had to take the graphics out we've had to take the graphics out for the quilt now this cutting mat that Jane's using here, all week we've been, we've had to deal, or last week we had to deal on sewing quarter branded um, goods. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds have gone out. I don't know how many of these we've got left, but this cutting mat, how many? Oh yeah, fewer than 40. Um, this cutting mat was 39.99. While stocks last, it's 19.99. Just so you know. So once I've got the two pieces together, I'm going to put the third one on to make a row of three okay. and again I found it easier to keep them lined out placed out in the block and do it a stage at a time right because it's very easy to pick it up and put it that way yeah, well yes and then it's in the wrong orientation yes um, now on each block did you put different fabrics in different places or because we're making one here identical to that one up there at the yeah. moment I are they all the same they are all the same in so much, I think, that Lynn tells you to do that in the instructions. Oh, okay. Because you're twisting them around. When you come to put the blocks together, you are twisting them about. And I oh, think so they will be in different directions? They'll all be 
different. And I think if, you, if you're not careful, you could end up with two tablets together. Oh, you together. could end up with two succulents together, couldn't yes. you? If you didn't... Right, OK. So, so they're all placed in the same order. So you've got the succulent here, the lacy leaves here, the orchid there in... Um, I think that one's called natural, the one with the blue background, isn't it? And then you've got the orchid in the lilac over there. So do keep them in the same order. I don't think it's a disaster if you end up with no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. two fabrics together. Yeah. But would make a big... Because they're quite big pieces, aren't they? Yeah. And big... the thing is, with it, with it being such a big pattern, you, you cut it and you, don't, you get a different pattern with each piece because it's... Because cut, you've it's cut... Such, the, yes. Because it's such a big pattern. Yeah, so you're not going to get that exact same poppy... No. ...in the next one. What? Where's your poppy one up there? You see that one? They've almost got a pansy in that one yeah. rather than a poppy, haven't you? And yet it's the same fabric. It's the same fabric, but it looks different because of the of where it's been cut. Yes. Now, I don't know if you can see, but on oh, yes. here, that square doesn't line up properly, but I'm not oh. I'm not going to worry too much. It's less than a quarter of an inch, yes. but I'm more concerned about getting my seam... Yes. Matching here. So why would that happen then? Why, why is it It not... can be um, the cutting. Yeah. It can be your seam allowance. But it's your fault. It's my fault, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's user error. <laughs> <laughs> user error. But, you know, when you come in to, to join your pieces, to, your, your rows together, you can, that will disappear into the seam. Yeah. You know, you just have a bit of a seam that's a bit narrower in places. And when, you, and when you've laid it all up and quilted it, if your seam is a little bit <coughs> narrow, me. it won't come undone because you'll probably quilt over it anyway. Yes, exactly. You see, that's come a little bit out. I'm not going to worry about that because in the grand scheme of things, yes. it's not overly out of no. pattern. Some people would unpick it and I might unpick it if I was at home and I'd got a bit more time. Or if your friend Chris was looking at it. Yes. Yes, if an she's expert... She's quite, quite uh, fastidious, isn't she, Chris? She's very, she's very careful with her piecing, um, but she gets beautiful results. So, oh, you yeah, know, totally. It's, it's worth it at the end of the day. And, you know, it's what you can live with. Yeah. You know, we're all different in our, in, in our ways of doing things, and some people just can't bear it, even if it's a thread out. It has yeah. to be just exactly on. I'm a, I'm a bit of a... Oh, no. Today, we can't get any more of these bundles, I'm afraid. I'm so sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I've just put that on the wrong way, haven't I? Have you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, that's... No, it's... I wasn't concentrating. Don't forget, I've got the case coming up in the next show by the half metre. And are those other three fabrics available on the website? Because people could create their own bundle, couldn't they? You just wouldn't get the instructions. Yeah. Oh, oh yes, the reason we can't do the bundling is one of the fabrics will be out of stock, maybe. Oh, I do apologise. Will people be able to order it in the next hour of the fabrics that you've got? No, that's what I was just saying. I was All just right. saying there'll be one there'll be one of these fabrics. The cave will be fine, because I'll have all the f it might be that we haven't got enough white in the stock, or it might be that I haven't got this linear in stock, only what was in the bundle sort of thing. Uh, Hannah's just gonna check. Because the thing is. Well, Hannah's going to have a look now, but also, if you wanted, maybe instead of the greens, you could go with a pink linear and a pink, you know what I mean? You could make it whatever you want. I mean, it's gorgeous. I'm not saying, I'm not saying this is, I mean, I think this is just beautiful. And the green is very spring-like and it's called Spring is Sprung. But now we've run out, you could maybe choose, or a yellow maybe, you know, it's a different colour to do your sashing and your background with. I don't know, I'm just saying. I think it would look really nice with the lilac. Oh, do you? Yeah. I th there's quite a little, a lot of purple in it. Too much. I don't think it'd be too much. Really. Do you think it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Be very girly. Is your house very? I can't imagine your house being girly. No, it's not girly. No. Be more like a farmhouse. Messy. A oh, messy. 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 messy house. <laughs> do you have a, 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 a room that you just do your sewing in, or do you just do sewing at the shop? I do most of the sewing at the shop. Yeah. But I do have. I've got a sewing area in our bedroom. In, the corner. in your actual bedroom? Yeah, it's literally a table in the corner of the oh, bedroom. Oh, no. It's very cramped. But I, we've got a cupboard over the stairs in right. the bedroom, and that's where all my... You've got a cupboard over the stairs. stairs. Yeah. Oh, I know, like people use as their wardrobes a lot of the time, yeah, don't they? Well, yes, I suppose. But it's, it's not big enough to be a wardrobe because it's over the stairs, so the inside of it goes... Oh, oh, I see. So you sit on an angle? Yeah. 
So, um, no, I'm not in the cupboard. Oh, OK. <laughs> the cupboard is where I keep all my bits. Oh, OK. In your bedroom? Yeah. Can't, aren't your in kids old bedroom. enough to have kicked out yet? You well, no, we've only bedrooms. got a two-bedroom house and they used to share and one, one son still lives at home. Could he not leave? No. <laughs> no, as in you don't want him to, or no, as he's not going anywhere? He's not going anywhere yet. Oh, okay. um, we'd like him to live independently. He's not building an extension? Yeah, if I had the money. Oh, <laughs> all the money you've got, Jane or <laughs> Cock. Yeah. Stop running every weekend. Because yes. you go running every weekend. Not every you? weekend. Well, almost. No, really. Hasn't Glenn just done a, a, he did a marathon, didn't yes, he? Yes, he did a, the mar the mar while everybody was in the sunshine in London running the marathon, yeah. Glenn and his brother were running the marathon in Blackpool. And was it raining? It was chucking it down with rain. It was 10 degrees and the wind was like Arctic. Oh no, and was it hitting them, the wind facing them? So it wasn't came, even pushing them along yeah, from behind? They, had, they were doing a half marathon at the same time. What, Glenn? No, the other people. The other people. So the half marathon was being run at the same time and they had to do the same circuit. So as the half marathon people were finishing, the oh. marathon people had to go round again. Oh. It's very demoralising. But Daisy, I took Daisy, our dog, with us. Oh. And she had a fabulous time because there was nobody on the beach. So she just, she just chased seagulls all, all the time. And you just froze. And we were freezing. <laughs> Oh, I did a film um, based on Black Moon, on Blackpool Beach for the whole film. It's called um, Funny Bones. Um, you know, last year I came to your and you had your exhibition of the quilts in, in the church. You're doing it again this year? Not this year. We're hoping to do it again next year. Oh, OK. Do it every I just two think, years. I just think what Jane, Jane had owned her shop, or she took over the shop five years ago this year, hadn't you? Yeah. So had a five-year kind of celebration, but took over the local church and had all these quilts. It was like a festival of quilts with all these amazing quilts that your friends have made, that your friends own and everything like that. Yeah. And it's an echo shawl. And it, well, it obviously isn't going to happen this year, but next year, we'll remind you next year, if we're all still here next year, remind you next year, because it's just so worth going to see. Yeah. So anyway. we've got the, the rows done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press them, but I'm going to press them so that the top row and the bottom row, the seams go in. Right. And the middle row, the seam goes out. All right, then. And I like to press flat first. And then if I want the seam to go underneath, I have the fabric I want it to go underneath on the top so that when I fold it over, the seam, the seam automatically goes yeah. underneath. Oh, OK. So now if you were to go, like I was just suggesting, go onto the website, um, the one that's holding us back making more bundles is the Cameo, this bit around the outside. So you could go onto the website, you could buy a linear print that you like. You need two metres of that one there, and you need one metre of the green there, the equivalent of the green there, and you need two and a half metres of the white. And then watch the next show. You could buy... So oh, you may have to get a different white, but you might already have white in your stash. But I've got all the cave fabrics coming up in the next hour, so you could choose your six favourite and half, because you only need half a metre of six cave fabrics. So in the next hour, I've got those plus. Oh, do you know what you could do? Like you were just saying, there's more purples and lilacs in there. In the next hour, you could maybe think, I don't want to see the purple and lilacs. I want more reds, or I want more. You might want the um, glamping. We've got glamping fabric in the next hour. You might want that in there as well. If you look at the original one that Lynn's done, yes, where the teal is, she's used a cave fabric in a deep purple colour. Oh, hang on. Where the what? So, this fabric here in the corner... Oh, there, 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 there. These, it's a deep purple, and here it's, it's come out different anyway. Oh, so she's yes. Used, so she's... A, and she's used a pale... That looks like a pale, very pale green that she's yes, used in there, doesn't that's it? Right, yeah. So that's what we've got as the white, and that's what we've got as the linear, uh, linear cameo. But you could, create, you could create the whole thing. But the only trouble is you wouldn't have the, the, the instructions. That would be the only thing. I think they're starting a campaign, aren't they, on Facebook to try and get sewing jump, jump. Sorry. <laughs> it would be useful. I've taken the instructions down because <laughs> Jane's been naughty. <laughs> you think she's all nice and quiet <laughs> and shy at home. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, yes, now, remember all of you who've just bought that quilt bundle, you're all going to get one of these. Well, no, it's any, anybody who spends over £50 while stocks last, but it means a big chunk of these have gone already. So, I'm lining up the seams, and because I've got them pressed opposite directions, and you can see that one's quite out there, but yeah. it'll go into the seam. Um, place the pin in along the seam line, yeah. and again, do the same as we did before by lining up the, the two seams there and where it crosses over. Just placing my pin in along the seam line just so that it hits oh, yes. where I'm going to so. sew. Who, who asked that? Mandy and Eileen. Sonia says, my bedroom is red and dark purple. Ooh, Son. So I would have a, a Macawa spray time dark red or dark purple backing to make the flowers pop out. Ooh, Son. Salt. Dark red and purple. That's sultry, isn't Ooh, it's, it? It's a boudoir, that, not a bedroom. A boudoir. Anna wants one of those. But sadly, Hannah asked me to move in with her yesterday. Oh, did she? Only, only because, only because I was, I, I was saying my house, when I moved into my house six years ago, it all needed doing, so it's all been painted, yeah. and now it needs doing again. And I said, maybe rather than room for room, I should just move out for two weeks, get the whole thing painted and come back. And Hannah went, you could move in with me. And I was like, no, thanks. <laughs> well, only because she'd have to share her bed with her flatmate. Right. And I'd sleep in her bedroom, you see. Right. She says it's fun at her house. Little Paul comes round a lot, Munch comes... Now, did you see that? Well, that not all of you will know Munch. The Munch was engaged. That's wrong. It's, no, it's, it's, a, it's a what's it, isn't it? OK, so this is your nine patch now. Yeah. So that's which is time. exactly the same as that nine One. patch yeah. there. Now, we've only got a few minutes left, so let's get on with... What you do then... Yes, I was going to say, what do you do next? You're going to sew two together. Yes, like but you just turned one then. Yes, because that's the block. Yes. Same orientation. So you would put all 16 of your blocks like that, would you? Yes. Yeah. You, you're going to leave four singly, because they go in the corners. Yes. You're going to sew two together like that. Yes. For the sides. Right. These are the sides here. Yeah. And they have that pointing out that side and yeah. the other way. Oh, this is why there are so many pictures, aren't there? Because... It's showing you how to place... Oh, you've got more made as well. So, once you've sewn those two together, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to sew two, four, six, eight... One, two, three, four... Yeah, 12 blocks together in pairs. So you're going to have six half pieces like that. Right. They, four of those stay in half pieces, and then two of them... You're going to sew together right. to make the middle block. To make the middle block. I'm sorry, Hannah's just explained something to me. What was that, Hannah? Oh, I, I, I don't... So that's the middle block. The, six, the question is, how many different caves are there? There are six caves in... Six half metres of cave in there. Six half metres of cave in there. Yeah. And if you wanted to use cave in this one... Yes. It's another half metre. Oh, yes. Uh, no, that's a metre. A metre. That's a metre. If you want to use K for, instead of the green, that's another. That's a metre of that one. Yeah. So that's, so that's made your central block. That then, makes then. your centre block. You add sashing onto the sides, and there's a little co um, square in the middle. So you put you, you cut your fabric. It's all in the pattern um, to size. OK, so if you've got all these laid out, where do you start? Do you, do you still, again... Make rows, so yeah. like we made it's rows still, to make the small block. It's still a nine patch. If you if you look at it, there's there's nine patches. Oh, okay, so so you would we sew that row that there. and that together with that sash, yeah, and that and that together with that sash. Yeah. You've got the row across there. Then you'd sash those two, yeah, and then you sash those two. So you've yeah. got three rows. Yeah, and then I would join this sashing strip here with the square yes. in it, and then put that in between. And have so, you made that whole strip with those green squares in the middle before you attach it to there? Yes. Or have you done three strips of pale green and put two squares in? Do you know what I mean? Like, 
before you've put this to this between yeah. these two, have you made that whole long yes. strip? Yes. Yeah. Sewn, I've sewn the square into these strips yeah. using the measurements. And then once I've got that strip made, I attach that to there and then I attach it to this to one. To that one, yes. And then do the same, attach it to there and then attach that it to there. It does get quite big by that point, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, and, and then you add the borders on. And okay. put the borders on side to side and then... Okay, the so now you used, you'll need a king size batting. This one we've used, I haven't got it with me here, but there's a picture of it. Obviously, it's up to you which batting you use, because obviously that's your choice. Some people like the cotton. Um, say that again, Han. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you've got your optical white here, then you don't want a dark, a dark batting. Obviously, I'm not telling my grandmother to suck eggs. There you go. There's the, that's the one we've used, or Jane's used in this one. Right, now, before we... Let's do... First of all, how have you quilted it? Because then I want to get on to leftover bits. I took it to my friend Amanda at the little quilt house and had it long arm quilted. Would you suggest that's the best? Because it's big, isn't it? It's 82 it is big. square, isn't um, it? It's very difficult to get a quilt that size under a domestic machine. You could use the quilt as you go method and do it in sections. Oh, uh, before you sash it? Before you sash it if you're confident with that. But then you won't have any quilting over your sashing, will you? Don't well, you could have... go back then and quilt oh, okay. over. Because you can always add more quilting onto a quilt once you've got it oh, right, stabilised. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so you could, if you wanted to, each of those nine patches or each of those blocks, you could quilt them and yeah. then sash it and then just quilt go, in go the sashing. Go back into the sashing, yeah, and quilt it. Well, that's a good idea. I didn't even thought of that. Yeah, that's okay. one way of doing it. So that's quilting. Was there anything else you want to talk about this before we talk about the... I could... You can make this block smaller. Okay, shall I get rid of those then? I, because it is so big. Yes. You can make a smaller version of the block. Oh, and how did you do that? I just scaled the squares down. This makes an 11 inch block. Right. So I used four inch squares for the, the, the main fabric. Yes. The background. Um, and then two and a quarter inch squares for these. So that's 10 inches finished or 10 inches it, unfinished? Well, it's 11 inches as it is now. Oh, right. And then it will be 10 inches when it's so finished. So it'll be 10 and a half when it's finished because you'll only lose oh, half Oh, yes, an 10 inch. and a half, 10 and a half square. So your middle block would only be 20, yes. 21. So, so, so I mean, obviously, if you feel, well, it, it just make you, you, so the squares are four inches. Now, big, were you trying? Two uh, little a, squares. Two and a quarter. So if you want to make a smaller version, there's not enough to make this one as well. But if you wanted to make a small, if that's too big a print, which I just love, but if it's too big a print, or you may want to make a lap quilt and save the rest of the fabric for something else, then you can scale it down. And obviously right. that would make a smaller top, which would be easier to get under your machine. Exactly. Quilt. Now, let's have a look at the leftovers. That's the bit. That's the... It's not leftover from the small one. This is leftover from the big one. These are all the leftover pieces. Uh, the the cutoff from there is... Um, from the, that little one, yes. they're only tiny, they're, they're not worth keeping. So at the beginning of the hour, you saw Jane do the Jane tip where she did the... You've got 288 squares. You've got 288 squares, which this is some of you've sewn together here. Now, this is nothing to do with that quilt itself. These are just the leftovers that you'll have from those little triangles that you've cut off the corners. Um, you now, can do... have lots of fun with half square triangles. They make all sorts of different patterns. Yes. But I just made a little four patch block with them going in that orientation because in my... How many did you make? Well, I just kept going and then I ran out of time, so I stopped. Oh, and but then you I overslept. Thought... Yes. <laughs> and then I, th I thought you could um, put them together like this and you could just keep go going then and you could have... Um, so it could just how go out big, in a bit. If I sewed all of these together, you've got two hundred and eighty-eight um, two-inch squares. Right. So I think about seventy-two inches square. That's out of your scraps, yeah, out of your leftovers from the bundle. So if you bought the bundle, if you did manage to get it, I don't want to rub it in. If you were one of the people who missed out, um, from all of those little leftover. Um, triangles that Jane had on all the corners when she cut all the corners off these I'll just show you here. if you weren't watching this if you weren't watching the front of the show at the beginning of the show when you made your block for the big um, quilt you cut these triangles off there you see and there'll be another one on that side just save all of these 
and then you, you could make. So if you wanted to make loads of cushions to go in the room, because that yeah. that'd be big enough for a cushion. Yeah. And that's only using nine of them. That's right. So and how many of them have I got? Two hundred and eighty-eight. You see what I mean? You could make you could make another quilt. Seventy-two by seventy-two is another quilt, quilt, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is fantastic. Jane, it, you're just <laughs> brilliant. I'm sorry if you missed out. I really am. I really, really am sorry if you missed out. But come back after break. I've got loads of... Oh, I've got all the brand new capes. I've got all the brand new capes. I've got a mega bundle. Or if you just want to buy half a metre of different ones, I've got that in the next hour. You can maybe create your own version of that. How many capes? Yeah, there were six half metre capes in that. And how many capes have we got in the next hour? 15. I've got 15 shows. So, Jane, you're back in an hour with that gorgeous little EPP, yes. haven't you? Yeah. Uh, so, you can have a break now. You yeah, can go and sit down and do your hair or something. <laughs> um, I'll see you. <laughs> I'll see you in three minutes. Brand new cape. Don't go anywhere. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. We've got a very special deal for you today. If you spend over £50 with us, you will receive Mettler's Pretty Pastel Cotton Thread Pack worth £12.99 completely free. Mettler's stunning pack of eight perfectly coordinating spring pastels is the perfect addition to your sewing box. Just think of all the spring sewing you could do with 150 metres of silky finished cotton. This offer is available for both online and television purchases and the spring threads will automatically be added to your basket at checkout. So stock up on sewing essentials and get this pretty thread pack free with your next purchase over £50. Hi, my name's Jo Carter and these are my top three tips. My first tip would be, even if you, your sewing room is normally a real mess, and mine always is, try and take the time to organise your fabric, your stash into colour order, because being able to see it and have it there, meaning you can pick out the colours and have them to hand and try fabrics together, really does help when you're quilting and it means you use all of your fabric and things don't get lost and forgotten about. My second tip would be try and get to know your sewing machine. So spend an hour or an afternoon trying out buttonholes and various stitches and just get to know what it can do because then when you've tried them, you know you can bring things into projects and make life easier a lot of the time. And my third tip would be try and sew when there's somebody else around so that they can keep you supplied with fresh cups of tea so your sewing's not interrupted. <laughs> We are moving channels. For those of you who watch us on Sky, please note that our channel number is changing. From the 1st of May, Sewing Quarter will be live on channel 687. Our Freeview channel will remain the same, channel 78, and you'll still be able to watch our live shows every single day starting from 8 a.m. So, if you watch us on Sky, please remember we'll be moving to channel 687 from the 1st of May. I'll see you there. Join us on Thursday the 3rd of May when Lucy Brennan is back in the studio with a small but perfectly formed quilt design. This mini quilt by cool US designer Nicole Calver is a breeze to make and will look as good on your wall as it will in a cushion cover. Created for Love Patchwork and Quilting magazine, the design comes as a kit in three delicious colorways. Choose from fuzzy peaches, juicy purples and good for you greens. Lucy has all the know-how and is ready to show us how it's done, including clever tips for making half-square triangles. So tune in for an hour of mini quilt greatness, Thursday the 3rd of May at 9am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687. Look, 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 look. 15 brand new K facet fabrics. Now you saw six of them in the last hour. You saw six of them in the last hour. Each of them are available by the half meter, right? Each of them are available by the half meter. Um, 
but I've got a mega bundle. Um, if you want half a meter of each of those, seven and a half meters, brand new cave, 111 pounds and 99 pence. Now, obviously, that's what, a lot of people love the mega bundle. A lot of people think, oh, I want half a meter of everything. That's it, that's me done, I'll buy all this. Uh, I collect cave, so I want a bit of everything, you know what I mean? So, if you want half a meter of all 15 of these fabrics, then this is the way to get it. 111 pounds and 99 pence, mega bundle. I am gonna sell them all by the half meter in a second. Don't worry, and we'll go through each of the fabrics and everything, but, for those of you who love mega bundles, look at that. So you've got the lacy leaves there. You've got the fish, you've not seen the fish. You've got the pomegranates over there. You've got glamping. Then there's more, um, uh, Hannah, Lo the pomegranates were your favorite, weren't they, Hannah? Really, really lovely. I'm thinking I'm liking, I, I, I love the orchid one, but I also love the poppy one. But I've, I love the glamping one in this colour here. Because most of them come in different colourways. The only one that doesn't come in two colourways is the lacy leaves. Some come in three colourways. But oh, aren't they beautiful? So you've got blue pomegranate, blue succulent, cool orchids, grey glamping, grey succulent, jolly scuba, natural orchids, pastel lacy leaf, pink pomegranate, pink poppy, pink scuba, pink succulent, red glamping, red poppy and yellow scuba. This is everything we have to offer from the K Facet Collective new, coll new, new collection. Aren't they beautiful? I understand, I understand, I understand the 111.99 Consid considered purchase. What's the matter? They're flying out, just so you know. Hannah says they're selling out left, right, and centre. The, the middle-aged Hannah suddenly kicked in then. Oh, the posh, because I'd said to her, and she said, when I, I speak properly, because sometimes, like she said, oh, them's nice, ain't, ain't they? You know, missing out the T's and everything like that. And she said, when I, speak, when I meet a stranger, I speak properly. And I said, I was a stranger once, I don't remember you speaking properly then. And I was like, she went, yeah, I did. Uh, anyway, aren't they gorgeous, left, right, and centre? Uh, I've also got just a quick message for Gerardine. 19th of May, Gerardine. I'm on. It's on the 19th of May. It's the Royal Wedding Day. Just so you know. Yeah. I, d I didn't put two and two together either. Right. Oh, I love these. I'm not going to fold them up yet. We'll have another look at them. We'll have another look at them. Okay. Um, uh, almost half of my mega bundles have gone already. You'll also get this, remember? Very expensive. You go, oh, oh, until stocks last, though. And, and a great watch of, the, a great watch of these went during the um, during the last hour. I, oh, upside down, John. One job. They called it pastel on the advert, but they're actually spring collection. They're hundred percent cotton, metler. They're worth twelve ninety nine. And did you know they were triangular, triangular threads? That's what makes them sheeny shiny. Right, <sighs> right. Right, hang on, I'm going to put them into their families now, if that's all right. So then we can get them right in the right order. Scuba, scuba. Succulent, succulent, succulent. Poppy, poppy. Scuba. Oh, scuba's in three colours. Uh, right. Oh, no, I thought there were three of those. Anyway, never mind. Right, where would you like to start, Hannah McCabe? Orchids. I've got the orchids in two colours. I, isn't that funny? I could just sw could just sworn these were in three colours, the orchid, but no. I've got, this one's called neutral, or natural, natural. Uh, this one's called cool. Okay. Let's start with the cool on them. So this is the first time you've seen. Oh, was it in? Was it in that? Oh, it was in the bundle. It was in. Oh, oh. right. Forty-four inches wide, hundred percent cotton, machine washable. I'm just going to check because it felt a little bit wider than forty-four. Okay, half the stock. Yeah, forty-four. Half the stock of this is already in baskets. Are, are we able to reorder it? Do we know? 
Is Chris there? Can we ask Chris to go? Oh, no, I think she's in meetings. I just... Oh, no, no, she's at a desk. She's at a desk. I've just seen her. This, um, this K Facet Collective, remember there are three of them. This is a Philip Jacobs one. Uh, beautiful, isn't it? Okay, I've got more people in baskets now than I've actually got stock. I do apologise about that. We do, the thing is, we are ordering more and more and more. More and more of you joining us. Uh, I remember yesterday I said there were 30,000 people, 36,000 people I was informed this morning, who are friends of the show. I'm not saying all 36,000 are watching now, but there are 36,000 people. Or can she find out? Oh, Harriet's not sure. Harriet's our head of merchandising. She's not sure if we can even get this anymore. Or any more of it for you. <gasps> oh, my word. Look. Look, 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 look. I have to say, this is one of my true, true favourites, this one. True K Facet Collective. It's called Natural for some reason. Oh, she's on the phone calling. Our people are calling their people. At seven, I haven't told you, 7.49 half a metre. Isn't that... I bet Crazy Lorraine comes in and gets some of this. Seven pounds and 49 pence. OK, Facet Collective. Remember, if you want it... You, need to, you can check out as many times as you like, remember, as many times as you like. But if you know you want it, you need to check out. That's all I'm saying. It's exquisite. OK, it's about to go. About to go. I'm so sorry. I am so... I, I, I thought, when I saw the sheets, I, saw, I thought, oh, that's plenty. That's plenty for a Monday morning show. Right, so I'm going to... We might need something else. It's only nine minutes past the hour. We might need something else in this hour, might we? Right, well, where would you like me to go next? Succulents next. Yeah, some of these were in the quilt. This comes in three different colourways. This one here. That one wasn't in the quilt. What's it called, that one? Blue succulent. Cool. Oh, grey. <laughs> Why is that called cool? Grey and red. Pink. So, blue, grey and pink. Let's start with blue. Let's start with the blue. This is so lovely, isn't it, right? Because this is beautiful as... Oh, let me hold it up, first of all. Let me hold it up. Beautiful at a distance like that, beautiful as a fabric, but then coming close, and imagine how that's gonna look all cut up in, well, it, it wasn't, it's not in the big quilt, is it, this one? This one's one that's not in the big quilt. So this is blue succulent. This is blue succulent. Now, if you look closely, you've got the blue flowers that's got about, uh, well, there's, um, there are 11 colors in here. You've got a plum, a navy blue, a brick red, a fuchsia pink, a lilac, an orange, an amethyst purple, and then four different blues on the flowers in the middle there. Beautiful, aren't they? Now, the pattern is quite big. Look, each of those flowers is like a... Oh, that one's not there, but each of the flowers are like a hand size. Or my hand size, anyway. You see, I knew Lorraine would love all these. I knew she would. Poor old Steve. Oh, she's... Yes. Couldn't resist, John. I'll be very under... I showed her the orchid, which I've shown already. Uh, very understanding after all the orders I've made at the weekend as well. <gasps> Beautiful, isn't it? Very fluid, isn't it, this one? I love the way that they... they that, well, we, we, everyone's got this plant, haven't they? Everyone's got... Uh, either inside, indoors or outdoors. I love the way the leaves are... If you look at the centre... Where are we? In the centre bit here, the leaves are all surrounded by blue, but then as you go round, they're, they're, they're outlined in the bright orange going around the outside.
Lynn's messaging saying, I've spent all my money over the weekend and now you're teasing me with this, John. Love you all. Thank you, Lynn. I'll come back to it. Oh, look, it's stunning, isn't it? So that's the one in the blue. That's succulent in blue. So now I've got succulent in. Great. Now this one is in here, look. Oh, is that too high? Do you want me to find it a bit lower? Here it's here, it's here, it's here. Look, this is the, look. This is the one I'm doing now, the succulent in grey now. See what you mean about when it's cut up? It looks fantastic, doesn't it? It's gone very cold in here. Oh. Isn't that beautiful? That is stunning, isn't it? Now, uh, Christopher, our floor manager, the succulent is his favourite. When they came in, he went, oh, I've got a favourite, I've got a favourite, because he sees them before we all do. OK? Look, let me show you this. From a distance, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? OK. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Um, right, Harriet, like I say, Harriet's on the phone doing what she can to get more. I promise you she is. And if anyone can, she's like a terrier, you know what I mean? She doesn't let it go. She'll get whatever she can get. I promise you, she'll get whatever she can get. Fabrics-wise. Right, so that's the, that's the, um, the grey. That's the grey, that's the grey, that's the grey. This is now, the, the, even though this is red, it's called pink, this one. <sighs> Look at those gorgeous clashing colours. Well, they're not clashing, but you know what I mean. Oh, I like that one as well. So this one is on the quilt as well. This one's here. You see, when you cut it up... I know, so, again, what colours have you got here? You've got lilac, you've got black, you've got maroon, you've got red, you've got pink, you've got pale pink. You've got two greens and then like a little turquoise. Can you see the turquoise in there? Can you see it in there? I'm just thinking which would be the best way. It's actually, it's not turquoise, that's the purple. The little dots there, you mean. The little dots in there, I don't know if you can see that, there's tiny, tiny, tiny little dots in there. That's the kind of lilac-y purple. I'm going to walk in front of it again now. Seven pounds four times. Now, I do have to warn you, I know we promise four to six working days, but with the weekend having been so busy, and now today <laughs> being just as busy, I mean, we love it, you love it and everything, but I... I, I it might not be with you, I can say it won't be with you in four to six days. I do apologise, but I'm telling you up front so you don't think, oh, where is it? John said four to six days. I'm telling you now, there will be a delay. We cut it in-house as, as and when you order it, you see, so that's why. It's beautiful, isn't it? Let me just hold it up again, because I think this one really works in a... Look. Yep, they're all agreed up, so yep. Yep. Left, right, and centre, yep. Oh, I've got the shakes this morning. Oh, dear. <laughs> I think it's exhaustion more than that. I had the weirdest dreams last night. Such strange dreams. I'm having weird dreams every night and I'm not eating cheese or anything before I go to bed. I think it's just that I'm getting into bed so early. It's still daylight outside. It's a bit weird, isn't it, getting to bed when it's still sunny outside? Well, it wasn't sunny yesterday, was it? But... I love that. Oh. Um, Hannah had a gentleman caller last night. And uh, she had to kick him out at Harper State Center. I'm off to bed. It was only neighbor. It was only Tony next door. It was not romantic. Not a romantic. Um, John, I think I need to marry a millionaire. Jane, don't we all? That, 
Oh, and the, the millionaire has to love sewing, then I can have all the fabrics I want. Well, Jane, if I was a millionaire, you could marry me. But I'm not. I'm no Wendy. <laughs> Poppies. Oh, talking about, we used to work with a girl called Poppy, and she's doing this show about Ibiza, I think, on the telly. She's had all these glamorous pictures taken. Uh, now, isn't this amazing, right? This is the same fabric, but look how different it looks in the two different colours. So there's, there's this with a blue background and this with a yellow background, but that's not what they're called. They're not called that. This is called red. And that's called pink, just so you know. So this is... <laughs> this is Poppy Garden, it's called, not just pop poppies. <gasps> oh, do you know what that would... Imagine that if you made a skirt, a summer skirt, as that. Or really beautiful wide leg trousers. Oh my word, that is gorgeous. So now if this isn't in the quilt. <clears throat> Excuse me. This uh, red one. I know, I know. This is the red one. We've not got the graphics wrong. This is definitely the red one. Uh, this is not in the quilt. The pink one that I'm going to show you next is, which is blue. <gasps> let me hold it up, let me hold it up. I'm not doing any justice with it down there. Look, 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 look. This is a metre, remember. This is a metre. So this is two units. So this is what? 15 pounds. 15 pounds for this. Oh, blimey. Buy a metre of this and you get your free... Th oh, no, hang on. No, no, I'm talking rubbish. Talking rubbish. Talking rubbish. I'm in last... I was on last week's. I was on last week's um, promotion. Sorry. I'll just stay behind you and shut up. <laughs> All right, Mike. Thank you. Don't get me started, Mike. I'll stop picking on you next. I heard. <laughs> anyway, let me waft. Oh, isn't it beautiful? The colours. Look at all. Look at all the colours that are in it. Look at all the colours that are in this fabric. Look. All those colours, all included in there. How beautiful must it have been to design that? How beautiful is it to have that? in your house. <gasps> 7 49 for half a metre. Now, if you're buying on the web, remember, if you're new, because this weekend we had more new buyers, than, like record new buyers this weekend. Um, if you're a new buyer, this 7 49 is for half a metre. So if you're buying on the, if you ring them up, you can say, oh, I want three metres and they'll sort it out for you. If you're on the website and you want, say, a metre, you have to put two units in, because one unit will only get you half a metre. And remember, if you are going to attempt that on your own, off your own bat, you need six different fabrics at half a metre of the cave, and then plus all the others. Our white fabric, 44 pen. I just measured it. You must have just tuned in after that. It's 44 inches wide. I just measured it across. It's beautiful, though. It's, you know what? It's that lovely... You know as soon as you pick it up that it's cave fabric, don't you? Jeanette, hi, John. I bought the quilt, but I had to buy the fabric bundle so I don't have to... Jeanette, are you crazy? I think you are. I bought the quilt, but I also had to buy the fabric bundle, so I don't have to cut into it. I could just look at it. I oh, know, it's beautiful, isn't it? I think Jeanette's married to a millionaire already. Or she could be... A, no, there's me. No, no, I take that back. She could be... A, I'm not being um, sexist. She could be a millionaire in her own right. That's what Hannah's planning on being. Well, if you sold your house, that's a, a fifth of the way there, isn't it? There we go. Oh! <gasps> this is lovely. Now, this one was in the, qu uh, in the quilt. This one's here, look. This one's this one in the quilt here. You see, again, when you cut into it... Now, it's pink, remember? Remember, this one's called pink. This one's called pink. This one's more limited than the brown one. No, it wasn't called brown. Red one. This is more limited than the red one. The one with the yellow background. Okay, Facet Collective. 
Over half the stock of this one that we have has gone, right? Because obviously, because it was in the quilt bundle as well. Isn't that lovely? How we do, can, are we able to, what, what? Oh, this one's about to sell out. I was just about to work out how we're doing on the mega bundle. Are you able to check that while the, what? Okay, the mega bundle, the mega bundle, now at the moment, oh goodness, because, okay, that's the mega bundle, that's the mega bundle, <laughs> the mega bundle, right? There's fewer than 10 of those now, which means there's nine, right? But normally we go, oh, it's fine, I'll make, I'll make another one, maybe I'll make some more, maybe I'll make some more for tomorrow, the day after, after. At the moment, Harriet's on the phone as we speak with all the other things she's got to do. Try, I cannot promise you, and I'm not adding, I promise you I'm not adding any undue pressure. I'm not, I don't want you to, I never want anybody to out, overstretch themselves because there's nothing worse than they wake up in the night with money, money worries and things like that. But I've got fewer than 10, and at this moment in time, they're saying we won't be able, we don't, they don't think we can uh, recreate that bundle. And I've got fewer than 10 of those. Just so you know. So, so you know the orchid fabrics? The only way you can get the orchid fabric now is in there. If you want the orchid fabric, the only way you can get it is in that, in that mega bundle. Right, move on, move on, move on, move on, move on. Oh, Jeanette's not a millionaire yet. Oh, she's just retired. She's spending her children's inheritance. I've told all my family, right? Because when I used to work in the film industry, I used to get paid a lot of money, and I, put a, I didn't realise... I had this lady, lovely lady called Mary, who was my financial advisor, still my financial advisor. She was 70 when I met her, so she must be about, well, she, I'm only 39, so. Uh, but anyway, 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 she came round to visit. I'm going to be a very rich old man, uh, which, is, which is lovely. Um, but I've told all my family, don't expect any to be left. I'm going to go out with a bang. I'm going to have such a fabulous retirement. So Jeanette's doing the same. Sadly, I mean, not sadly, I haven't got kids to leave mine to, so, you know. Anyway, then move on, move on, move on, move on. Oh, no, I've got, I've got two children named after me in Africa, but they're not mine. Right, next. I'm getting into a right old spiral here, aren't I? Which one am I doing? Scuba, you mean? I've got, now, oh, is that the same fabric? Oh, no. I've got three scubas here, right? Now, you and I will know them as blue fish, pink fish, yellow fish. Right? What the Cave Collective have said, yellow scuba, oh, pink scuba, and jolly scuba. <laughs> I think this one's more jolly than that one, but anyway. Should we do yellow first? Do you want to do yellow first? Now, none of these, none of these are in the quilt at all. None of these are in the quilt. These are all... And now, isn't that funny that I've got a fish shirt? I iron two shirts. I always iron two shirts because I always remember in the old place, Kim would, sp would always spill something down herself in before she went on air and wouldn't have a clean blouse to put on. So I always iron two things in case anything happened to this one. Look. What's going on here? We've got angelfish. We've got octopuses. I'm not quite sure what that one is there. That's the big-headed fish. That's a lovely tuna. That's a tuna, I think, isn't it? Isn't it a tuna? That's big compared to everything else. And stripy. Oh, seahorses! Seahorses! Turtle! Turtle! Where's the other turtle? That's seaweed. That's not a turtle. Oh, yes, there, that's its head, and there's its shell. They're huge. Look at their size, those turtles. Oh, and then there's that one there, the skeleton fish. Are these guppies? Are these guppies here? Oh, sorry, I was going to move it into shot. Are they guppies? Oh, hang on. You... Hannah's getting so excited that the thing's cutting out. They're clownfish, are they? Oh, it's a lobster. No, that's not a lobster. Uh, that's a, some sort of squid. Look, 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 look. They're really clever because you don't see them to begin with, do you? What's that one? That's a porcupine. 
That's a porcupine fish. I saw that in deep blue, the deep blue sea with David Attenborough. Starfish. Starfish. Oh. This is like everybody's happy and in fan And there's a shoal of fish there, look. I've never been scuba diving, it frightens me. Well, no, you're not. You're not going to go as deep to get the bends, are you? Honestly. Oh, sure, I can't do that to get the bends. Honestly. Oh, isn't it lovely? Let me hold it up. Oh, do you know what I'm thinking? You know the drape in my bathroom? I'm thinking maybe I have to get the pink one of these. Because you know what? Do you know what? You know my pink bathroom, which has got the, the pinkest, pinkest, pinkest walls in the world? I've now got pink water in my toilet. But completely by accident... Completely back. So, because you know, you buy that, you get those, um, those, uh, that they're, they're like cubes of um, bleach that you put in the cistern, right? Now, they're normally wrapped in blue, aren't they? And they make your paper, they make your water either blue or, or keep it clear. Well, I just had to pick some. I was in that, um, now, was it Aldi's or Little? It's where I have to get Norman's treats from. Any, Norman's my cat, by the way. Um, anyway, I was walking past it, and you know they have all the things, they have all things like cat food next to a car, next to a fruit, fr fruit yogurt maker and all that thing. And they had these things, and I thought, oh, I need some of those for the toilet. So I just put them in there. Anyway, I dropped them in. I nearly <laughs> wet myself. Well, no, I flushed the toilet and it came out like bright, bright pink and everything. I love it. Anyway, it's in three of the toilets now. I am a little bit worried because the pink is so, like, so pink. I'm frankly might stay in the toilet afterwards. But, right, talking, of, talking about pink, you see now, would this look lovely in my bathroom or would it be a bit much? I know. I take, I've got, I've, I've got, I've got, or everything, everywhere else in the house has got curtains and blinds and everything like that. And it's just my bathroom, which happens to be on the centre window of the front of my house. Which is stupid, really, isn't it, really? Because the, the window's there and the toilet's here, so I'm not going to do my actions. I never really did action there. But if you're standing up using the facilities and the lights on, it's nighttime, anybody walking past. Anyway. I will change the subject now. The octopus has got a green head on this one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm moving on from bathrooms now, anyway. I'll oh, shut up. Oh, it's not going to work. It's the wrong pink anyway. It won't work. Oh, I thought it was... So you've got the... Ch oh, look at this one. Big angel fish here, look. Bumping into the tuna. With the little... What were they? Not guppies. What did you call those? Clownfish. Oh, look at the colour. Look at the colours of the... Um... Can you see... Oh, there it is. There's the turtle there, look. Oh... This is the same fish that Michael... No, not the same. This has the essence of the fish... You know the colouring in fabric that we had? Was it Michael Miller colouring in fabric, the fish frenzy? We had a big fish. That had a big fish with lips like that. Mind you, watching that David Attenborough show, you suddenly realise how... Inc oh, they're just incredible, aren't they? Incredible. Isn't it lovely? Again, imagine that as a, as a main piece like that. Or imagine it all chopped up. Not the, neither of these two, neither of the, or not, none of these three, sorry, are in the quilt. You can make your own marine life quilt out of the three colours, couldn't you? Oh, lovely. Okay, so that's the pink one, pink scuba. Right. Oh, I've got a message from Maxine. Oh, John, you do make me laugh. Great ton tonic to a wet day. Hugs, Maxine. Is it raining? Oh, now, somebody said it was going to snow this week. Where did I read that? Somebody said we were going to have snow this week. This is, this is jolly. This is jolly, this one. Are you sure it's not Jolie? How's it spelled? Oh, no, jolly. Oh, actually, I think it's my favourite. Oh, do you know? I think it's because it's more naturalistic. <laughs> well, the sea's blue, isn't it? This is more like a David Attenborough show because it's more realistic, I think, this one. I think um, if I met that um, squid, I might be a bit frightened. Well, he looks like one of those... Um... 
Well, yes, they've obviously not, it's not like real life, as in there wouldn't be that many of them. In, and also the seahorse isn't bigger than everything else, is it? There's the octopus there, where is it? There you go. That's a squid, Michael. No, oh, honestly, Michael. No, they both have ink, don't they? I know that the pasta's dyed with squid ink, isn't it? I don't know. Does octopus, does octopus squirt ink cake as well? We don't know enough about marine life, do we? Eight, because it's octopus. Oh, I don't know how many the squid's got. The squid's got, like, forks. One, two, three, four, five. Five, the squid's got. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Look, the turtle's got a lovely face. Oh, where are you? Oh, there you are. Remember, do you see this, the, the, the um, turtle's head? Remember how we, yesterday in the clearance, we had that one, that fat quarter held up, and it said, oh, look, if you fussy cut this one, you get all different stripes. That's what his head's made out of. Oh, what's that? We've not seen the barnacles. Are they barnacles or are they urchins? Because there's, uh, there's an oyster shell here, and then you've got those. Are they urchins or barnacles? Urchins, I think. Barnacles grow on the bottom of a boat. What's this one here, do you reckon? That's a three-eyed uh, three caterpillar. Oh, it's coral. I thought it was a caterpillar. That's his, oh no. That's cute, isn't it? Oh, Hannah, that would be you. There you are, looking happy under the water. Flirting with the boys. Yeah, they're flirting with the boys. I don't think I'm in this scene. No. Oh yeah. Mike could be the turtle because he's got orange hair. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? So Stripey blue. That one. I don't want to be that one. Apparently that's the one I am. Right, that's Jolly. That's Scuba in Jolly. What's well, Jolly? Look, I'm over halfway through the show. Half the stock of that one has gone, by the way. Jolly is the most popular of the three. It is, it's because it's the more realistic, I think. Right. Now, the next three are... Oh, let's do, should we do Lacey Leaves next? Because it's in the quilt. Then the other two are more fantasy range, aren't they? OK. This is Lacey Leaves. Now, this is in the quilt. Oh, hang on a minute. And it comes in the one... Co well, we only have this one in the one colourway. What colour is it? Pastel. Doesn't Lacey have an E in it? I thought Lacey has an E in it. Uh, where's that on here? Oh, there it is. There it is. Nice, isn't it? Uh, oh, no, without an E. Without an E. And maybe the one with the E is the one with the name, like Lacey, who plays Stacey in EastEnders. Oh, that, can you? Apparently you can spell Stacey without an E, I've been told now. Uh, Lacey leaves, pastel colour, one colourway. I like the fact that you've got the blue background. The blue background's got little, little leaves on it. Can you see that? He's coming in. Hold on to your sofa, because it could go anywhere. Yeah, scream if you want to go faster. Oh, now, as I was driving home last night, the sounds of the 70s were on, there was a lady on there who uh, runs a circus, like a, 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 a friend, you know, friendly circus, not a cruel circus. And it sounded fabulous because she said, from the minute you arrive, they have people walking around in red velvet and fishnets, and I immediately thought of Hannah. I don't know why. What makes you say that? Lacey leaves, gorgeous cut up. 
There's not as much of this available because obviously it was in the quilt as well. Um, you know you told Chris about half an hour ago that I was cold. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Half a meter. By putting the heating on. <laughs> well, he's just, he's coming round the corner, aggressive. I don't want to be kept warm by hugs. Thank you very much indeed. Not this morning. Anyway, I'll come back. I'll come back and we'll recap. Don't worry, we'll recap. Oh, no. Do it now, then. Do it now. Uh, before I go on to the next one, the mega bundle, where half a metre of everything, half a metre of everything, I've got a picture of it here. Here. Four left. I've only got four left. I know, and we can't, I cannot, I cannot, at the moment, I can't guarantee that we'll get this again. Uh, Hannah, uh, not Hannah, Harriet is on the phone, and I know she'll get what she can from the suppliers, but I don't know if we'll ever be able to do that again. Okay, now we're going on sort of fantasy land now, aren't we? Oh, we're doing glamping. No, no, we'll do glamping first then. Glamping comes in two different colours. Luke and Luke. No, that's not their names. I'm saying look and look. Oh, guess the colours. Red, grey. That's orange and... That's Christmas red in there, look, isn't it? Now, obviously, this isn't in the quilt. I don't know why I turned around to look, because I knew it wasn't. Red. Right, the, Hannah says, when she goes to a festival, she pitches her tent, goes off wandering, when she comes back, it's a bit like this. Can you imagine being at a festival that looked like that? At night time, when you're sleeping, though, it wouldn't be much fun, because there's no doors. No, no, that's, that's where you walk in. That's like on a Game of Thrones battle tent, isn't it? You walk in, but there's no door that folds across, is there? Oh, isn't that incredible? Warwick Castle. Glamping, though. This is glamping. Not jousting. Not jousting. It's glamping, this one. OK, Facet Collective, red glamping fabric. £7.49. pence. I did... Um, I went to an award ceremony in, in uh, Warwick Castle, didn't I? Yeah, remember when... Um, Poppy that we talked about earlier was up for an award, do you remember? Uh -huh. No, 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 it was a big, it was a big thing. Richard, remember Richard? He uh, sort of, not organised it, but he was all involved with it. Seven pounds and 49 pence. This is half a metre, for half a metre. Obviously, you're seeing a metre on the table. We're coming in now. Which tent's he going to go into? Oh, okay, I'm not sure. The little one, the tiny one in the middle. That's little Paul's tent there. That's what, I didn't say that. Ginger Mike said that. Why not? Um, is there a little person going into that one? Oh, uh, uh, where are you? I don't even, oh, there. What's that? Is that somebody peeking? Oh, I thought it was somebody peeking round. It's the top of the tent. But then there's a little arms there, look. Yes. A proper hug lowers your blood pressure. <laughs> Do you think my blood pressure's a bit high? No, my blood pressure... I've got a blood pressure machine at home now. Um, it's all fine. 140 over 80 most days. No, no, but you haven't seen Chris, have you, Anne? It's a, that wouldn't lower my blood pressure. He's like a great big bear hug, isn't it? And he's been off, he's been off drinking for two days. So. Like Hannah smelled of Guinness at the... At the uh, oh, do you know, when I was dropping Hannah off yesterday, guess who we passed in the street? Hannah's yoga teacher. And I was like, there's my yoga teacher. I said, is that the one that commented on you smelling like um, Guinness in our class? Anyway, she walked straight past the yoga centre and went into the kebab shop. 
Not Anna, the yoga teacher. <gasps> oh, I like this one. This one's very, oh, look. I love it. I, now, isn't it funny? I normally go for the one with more color in it. But that's really striking, isn't it? Now, OK, so the question from Hannah is, what projects are you going to use? To, what, what projects will you use this in? I think I'd want it in panels inside a marquee. That'd be rather pricey, wouldn't it? I don't think we've got that much stock, actually. We can make really lovely curtains, really dramatic curtains, or blind, nice blind. OK, now my last two, and then I'll do a recap for you. I'll do a recap of everything, are uh, pomegranates. Very good for you, pomegranates, aren't they? I've got, I buy pomegranate seeds from uh, Waitrose. <gasps> oh, they're nice. Now, two different colorways. So, guess the colors? Pink and blue. No, pink and blue. Pink and blue. Let's go pink first. Oh, wow. Now, this is another one I think would look good, um, like your paint pots. You know, when we did the paint pots and we chopped the paint pots up, I think these would look lovely chopped up, wouldn't they? Oh. These are pink pomegranates with all the pomegranate seeds. Do pomegranates have little growths on the top like that, do, do they? I don't know. I always buy them in the tub already scooped out, you see. Oh, yes, they do have that, like, crest thing on the top, don't they? Yeah, of course they do. They grow it on a pomegranate tree. I don't know. <laughs> but they have to grow on a tree, surely. Yeah, but I don't think there'd be a pomegranate plant. like a, a, I think it'd be a pomegranate tree. OK, Fazit Collective. Pink pomegranate, 7.49 for half a metre. Nice. I like that. Look, look at it from a distance. It's unusual because it's all uneven, isn't it? It's a bit like, it looks a bit like disco pebbles from a distance, doesn't it? You know the disco pebbles that he did? Oh, that's nice, that one. Now, if that's a bit too vibrant for you, I've got the same fabric. The last one. Oh, no. Thank you. They do grow on trees. Unlike money. We don't know what tree yet, though. Ooh, well, it'll be a pomegranate tree, obviously, but... I love the colours in this one. Ooh, he's put the heat on, but it's gone colder, hasn't it? <laughs> Blue. Brand new K Facet Collective Blue Pomegranate, seven forty nine half metre. The blue's gorgeous, isn't it? Blue is a really kind of summer afternoon blue sky, isn't it? And they've got brown, purple, red, orange, black. Right. OK, let's do a recap. Let's do a recap. Let's do a recap. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. Oh, do the Mega Bundle recap first. Sorry, do, while I'm tidying up, do the Mega Bundle recap. Right, I've got three in stock, and I cannot, cannot, cannot. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry if you're watching on the repeat, but um, I know we are getting more and more, but just more and more of you coming in. That's all. I'm not complaining, obviously, I'm not complaining, but um, just saying. Okay, there are three left in stock, right? Three left in stock. They're half a metre of everything, seven and a half metres. Now, some of those fabrics, I'll, I'll tell you now, because I've got every single fabric on the table. I'm going to tell you which ones are sold out and what's available. So, let's start at the very beginning, like we did before. I've got two orchids, but I think they're both sold out, aren't they? Both the orchids have sold out. Both the orchids have sold out. Then we went to succulents. So, hang on, grey, pink and blue is what we had there, right? The blue one here, there's stock available of that one, if you want that one. That's not in the quilt. 
Let me show you them. I'll just do a, I'll just do a half piece like that. 44 inches wide, 100% cotton, machine washable. Beautiful, rich colours. Okay, that one is still available. Oh, no. There's five metres of this one left. Five metres if you want this one. And I can't guarantee getting these by the half metre. Uh, Hannah, uh, oh, Hannah, Harriet is trying to sort it out now, but I can't guarantee. She'll get what she can, I promise, but I can't guarantee we'll get any of these again. Okay, perfect too. So, so that one will go any minute because there's only... F okay, there's more people in baskets now than there is stock. And then this one, which is pink. Oh, I'm sorry I'm done mixing matching size. It's just they've all been selling out so quickly. Have people been asking for that? Okay, there's a third of the stock of that one's gone. When everyone checks out their baskets, over half will have gone, but it's still available. That, that's if you're just getting half a metre, of course. If you're getting any more than half a metre, that could change. So then we went to poppies. Now, I had poppies in two colours, didn't I? This one, which is called poppies in pink, has sold out. And then this one, oh, now isn't that funny? I had more of this one, because that one was obviously in the, this one wasn't in the quilt. Let me just open it for you. Now you see, I've got some of this remaining, but not lots, not lots. 7.49, half a meter, 100% cotton. Beautiful, vibrant colours, aren't they? Maybe this won't work in my bathroom. Lovely, isn't it? 7 pounds and 49 pence for half a metre. Next one. Right, that's the poppies done. Poppy Fields, I think it's called. It was gone. Poppy Fields, it's called. Anyway, uh, then we went to. Oh, did we? Went to fish next. No, no, we did. We did. No, we did. Because then we went to lacy leaves, and then we went to that. So these ones are called um, scuba, scuba yellow, scuba pink, and scuba jolly. Scuba yellow. Half the stock of this one has gone. I'll just, I'll just open it up half. So, it? Well, you might not get all the fish there for two. That. There you go. Give you an idea. Fantasy, that, isn't it? So that's scuba in yellow. Then I've got scuba in pink. Claudia, morning, John. Great new cave. Glam ping fabric like Harry Potter's giant squib game. Oh, quibbish, quibbish, it says here. OK. Oh, it's gone anyway. Uh, then we've got the pink. I've never watched Harry Potter, never read a Harry Potter. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Some still available. Glamping fabric like Harry Potter, giant squibbish or quidditch game. Go in and they are huge. Oh, I see. So you go into a little tent and inside, like a TARDIS. You go into a little tent and it's massive inside. Oh, I didn't know that. Scuba in pink. Nora says this would make a lovely Roman blind for your bathroom, John. It might do. It might do, Nora. I was thinking more about the poppies, though. But you, I'll take it home and anyway and have a look. Jolie. Right, OK. I've got about 20 metres of this left, right? Which might sound a lot, but 20 metres can go in a heartbeat. OK, then we went on to lacy leaves. Four and a half metres of lacy leaves left. Well, that's because it was in here, wasn't it? Yeah, it's in the quilt. And because lots of people bought it as well. Look. The lacy leaves. 
749 half meter, remember? Right, then we went on to um, uh, uh, glamping. I had glamping in grey. Right, a third of the stock of both these have gone. So the red one, first of all. This is glamping in red. I wish we could go inside the tent. It would be very interesting, wouldn't it? I'm imagining Charles Dancer sitting there at a big table with a goblet. That's what I'm thinking. And then a third of this one has gone, oh, it was my friend Patsy DeLord's birthday yesterday. Remember, the reason I remember that is I did Hillary and Jackie, the film Hillary and Jackie, and she was the production coordinator on it. And she had a crush on Charles Dance because he was in it as well. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Oh, you would know who Charles Dance was. He's been around forever. He's in Game of Thrones, but he's in also in lots of every period drama he's in. He must have been in Downton Abbey at some point, mustn't he? No. <laughs> he definitely won't have got in Big Brother. Uh, which one of these first? The pink one. Pink pomegranates. Seven pounds and 49 pence. That looked lovely. Uh, I think that one looked lovely. Get that. Seven pounds and 49 pence. And then last but not least, oh, do you know what we haven't done? <laughs> I did have bundles. Maybe we'll keep those bundles out because maybe I could squeeze them into my last hour. Maybe. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Is Hayley in today? Oh. No, 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 because Hayley did the bundles. It'd be a shame not to show them. I can't, I can't go them now. Right. Oh, OK, right. Come, come with me quickly, quickly, quickly. Right, we're going to play these in the last hour. These are the bundles that uh, Hayley put together to go with the fabrics. We're going to run them through, we're going to run through in the break, are we? So if you're on the web, you can buy them on the web straight away. Just quickly look at them. I've got the, uh, the lilac lavender one. That's called Purple Blooms. Meter and a half fabric, all spectrum solids. Then I've got this one, which I love, which is like a fuchsia pink, a bright green, and a purple. That's called Fuchsia Blooms. You'll get that in the fuchsia. Then there's this one, which is, uh, which one? Fruity Blooms, this one. I'd love to know what fruit's that colour. Metre and a half of spectrum signs. I will play them through in the last hour, I promise, I promise, I promise. I like this one. This is nice, isn't it? Lily... Bl Don't know why they call these names. Lily Blooms. That would go with Jane's outfit today, wouldn't it? The one that Jane Alcott's wearing. Could wear that, yeah. Then they've got this one here, which is... So I was going to say this one's a bit like Chris, but it's called Sunshine, this one. OK? I'll play all these. I'll play, if you're on the web, you'll be able to buy these during the break, right? But off, uh, I'm actually playing them for live. In, uh, and then this one. Dusky Blooms. That's a chocolate, a blue, and a pink. Right, I'm going for a break now. Jane's up next, making that lovely um, uh, English uh, EPP, English paper piecing, um, cushion, quilt, mini quilt, whatever. I'll see you. I'm going now. I'll see you in three minutes. Go nowhere. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. We've got a very special deal for you today. If you spend over £50 with us, you will receive Mettler's Pretty Pastel Cotton Thread Pack worth £12.99 completely free. Metal's stunning pack of eight perfectly coordinating spring pastels is the perfect addition to your sewing box. Just think of all the spring sewing you could do with 150 meters of silky finished cotton. This offer is available for both online and television purchases and the spring threads will automatically be added to your basket at checkout. So stock up on sewing essentials and get this pretty thread pack free with your next purchase over £50.
Today I'm going to be showing you how to do diagonal tacking, which is also uh, known as pad stitching, but depending on what you're using it for. Diagonal tacking would be a temporary stitch just to attach layers of fabric together, like interlinings or interfacings, and you'll be doing that to the wrong side of the fabric. So normally you would use two layers of fabric, but I'm going to be just using this fabric here on a hoop, just so I can show you, show you the stitches. So I'm going to be taking my needle through my fabric, and then I'm going to be doing in and out to create a diagonal shape. And then I'm going to go further down and again coming in and out. So you can see that I'm moving from the right to left, but if you're right or left handed, then this can change either way, whatever's more comfortable for you. So it's this small stitch here that gives you the diagonal shapes and you just keep going down your fabric. So once you've done these stitches down here, you then need to go back up to create a second row of stitches. But this time you need to come in and out the other way. So this time I'm going from right to left. So I'm mirroring that stitch. Like so. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple program guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Love Patchwork and Quilting is the best-selling modern quilting magazine that shares your passion for fabric. We publish 13 times a year, featuring must-make projects, essential techniques, interviews, news and reviews from the world of modern quilting. Every issue comes with a free gift. Uh, before we go to Jane, I just need to tell you we've got this special um, offer on today. If you spend anybody, anybody, not just new buyers, anybody spends £50 or over today, you get this free gift. You get this lovely free gift of uh, the Mettler Spring Collection, worth £12.99. Uh, it's only while stocks last, right? Right, we've been so busy <laughs> that we're all right at the moment, but I'll keep you updated. There it is, £12.99, but we're all right at the moment. We're okay at the moment. Now, isn't this gorgeous? Look at this. Look at the work that's gone into this. Isn't it lovely? Poor old Jane, we give her all the hardest projects, don't we? I've got three bundles. I've got the patterns and three bundles to offer you today. Now, there's an awful lot of fabric here. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fabric here. That, oh, hang on, they're in... Um, uh, you, Hannah, you'll have to... Um, Remember, there's two with more in. You'll have to go through it with me because uh, the, this one's gone out of order. Right, so let's start with the one that James used, which is this one, called Green Kaleidoscope EPP Mini Quilt. Thir oh, it's only 34 and a half. Wait till you see how much fabric. Look, four and a half metres of fabric. So you get a thread, 
you get the instructions. And then you get all these gorgeous fabrics. So, you get a metre of linear teal and a metre of optical white. Then you get half a metre of all the others. So you get half a metre of green, spearmint, half a metre of lime, half a metre of oh, mint, half a metre of coral and half a metre of jade. So you get all of those, total of four and a half metres, plus the thread, plus the instructions, 34 pounds. You will have leftovers. You will have some left over. I've got, to, I've got, to, I've got a, a solution, an idea for that later, right? So that's that one. The one that Jane's going to use in the demonstration now is this one here, which I presume is called berries or something like that. Purple. Okay, so again, you get the instructions and the thread. But then here we go. So you get... Oh, yeah, these are in the right order. So you get a metre of... Looks like mercury or... What's that other pale? Glacier, was it that one? Now, that's Heron. Glacier grey, metre of glacier grey, and a metre of the Heron, uh, Heron uh, linear print. Then you get half a metre of this one. Mauve mist, deep coral, or oh, deep purple. I'll just say the name, so it doesn't matter. Violet, orchid, and damson. They might not have been the right order, but you get half a metre of each of those. There it is, there it is. And flying into the baskets, flying into the baskets at £34.99. And then the last bundle, which is gorgeous, which I think is sun very sunshiny, so which one is this one? You, that one, you definitely get a metre of that one, which is the linear uh, kind of sunshine. Oh, and a metre of the lemon, which is that one there. Spectrum solid. And then half a metre of all the others. That's the linear, half a metre of the pale blue, half a metre of the aqua, half a metre of the ocean, and half a metre of the deep sea. I think that's what they're called. You don't need to worry about the names because you get all of those. Oh, the photo's wrong. The photo's wrong. You get in the photo there were two, they put two of those in. You actually get half a metre of that one as well. So, uh, so there, so you get half a metre of that one. Half, you see in the picture there were two of those. Half a metre of that one, half a metre of that one, half a metre of that one, metre, metre. Four and a half metres in total, and the instructions and the thread. £35.99. pence. So, should we go? Should we have a look at the finished thing and then we can go and see how Jane. Makes it. She's going to make a whole brand new one in the hour, aren't you, Jane? Oh, yes. Right. I'll just hang that over there like <clears> that. <throat> um, it looks so, so intricate. There we go. It is very intricate. Okay. Very small. I better not sneeze because there's lots of little <laughs> bits of paper on the desk, aren't lots there? Lots of little pieces. Um, it's a lovely little project to do and to practice your um, English paper piecing on. Yes. But they are tiny pieces. Right. I think actually in the pattern, the pieces are slightly bigger. Oh, okay. Let's have a look. Oh, hang on. I've got two sets of um, two sets of instructions here. Oh my word. Right. Okay. So, this is the finished uh, design as you can see next to me. These are the written instructions down there. I'll just move it up for you. And then these are all the construction, uh, the uh, construction instruction. Construction, construction instructions. instructions. That's a mouthful. Now, this was designed by Sarah Griffiths, as you can see down there. And I'll just give you a quick read of what, who Sarah Griffiths is. Sarah is Love Patchwork and Quilting Senior Technical Editor. Oh, doesn't, isn't that what um, Rebecca Reed does that, didn't she, technical editor? She's a quilting expert and fabric fanatic at LPQ Sarah. Uh, look at all those bits. Oh, and now, and you get all of the, um, all of the uh, templates that you need on the back there. See, all the templates you need are on the back there. So, now, uh, you want you to, well, Jane's going to explain how to, uh, how to do the whole thing. Um, 
as, as Jane said, these are slightly bigger than the ones that she did. So if you're thinking, oh, those are too small for me to work with, the ones on your pattern are slightly bigger. So it'll make a finished bigger pattern. Yes, it'll be it? bigger, yeah. Okay. Probably a little bit easier to, to work with. Yes. Um, Don't be bitter now. <laughs> I photocopied the um, template past the, for the pattern. Yes. And then chop, I did about five copies, chopped it and put it onto an A4 sheet and yes. then photocopied that. Right. And then copied that onto card. In your photocopier? Yes. So what's, do you put thin cardboard through your photocopier? Yeah, I, um, it was 180 GSM oh, okay. card. Because with them being so small, I think you need your card a little bit thicker. Rather than paper. Rather than paper. So it's not English paper piecing, it's English cardboard piecing. <laughs> You, you always things. use a little bit of firmer car paper anyway when you do paper yes. piecing because you need to be able to pull the fabric over the... But as they're so small, use cardboard when you I photocopy use, them. Yeah, it's 180 GSM. Yeah. It's a little bit thicker than I probably okay. would use normally. Okay. If you didn't photocopy onto cardboard, you could cut yourself some... You could trace it onto template plastic. Template plastic, that's what I was trying to say. Trace yeah. them onto template plastic and then draw around them onto the back of yes. the fabric and... Um, because template plastic, <clears throat> what you could do is these are just the finished size, aren't they? Yeah. You haven't got ones for cutting out. No, I haven't these. got the seam. So if you did the plastic template ones, you could do one that is the finished size and one with a quarter of an inch around the outside, so you could cut or three eighths of an inch around the outside, so you can cut out. Yes, and you could also then you you could have a real fun with um, if you were using patterned fabric. With oh, fussy cutting, fussy cutting yeah. and, and getting lots of different effects that way. Okay. So Where do we start? We'll start by, um, I think we'll make another one of these ones. Right. Because so that's a kite with a triangle. Kite with a triangle. And it's in, it makes that. Oh, okay, I'll just show you that there. Though. Makes that one there. So we're making kind of that cartwheely design there. Okay. <gasps> Which is that one. Oh, oh, there we go. So we're, making, we're going to make one of those. So lovely. So now, as you've got half a metre of each fabric, plus a metre of the two other ones, can you just choose which colour yes, you want? Yes, you can, you can do your colours wherever you Why like. Why are you smirking then? Because I've made quite a few samples, and that's how much fabric I've used out oh, of so my half a metre. Oh, you're going to have loads. Loads left. So you've got loads left. I'll just explain why you've got loads left. Is because our fabric's cut by the half metre. So you, the minimum we can put in a bundle is half a metre. So this is a I've got an idea, though, what you can do with your extra. If you like English paper facing, I've got some ideas afterwards. Oh, right. So, I, I used glue basting for this. Because it's so small, Yes. I think um, tacking with thread would just make you lose the will to live, really. OK, fine. So, a blob of glue on the back of the template. OK, it's a different uh, glue pen to the, the one we normally have. This is a prim one, this one. And what yeah. I did was I stuck them all down, leaving, making sure I got at least half an inch gap between each one. Yes, so at least, yeah. If I was putting another one on, I'd just... Have no, the same shape. It's a different shape, but making sure that between the shapes... Oh, OK, there's enough room. There's yeah. enough room for your quarter of an inch. You can mark your quarter of an inch if you want to. It's the prim aqua, oh, aqua glue marker, three ninety nine. You can do what? You can mark your seam allowance if you want to. Oh, yes. You can place the quarter of an inch mark of your ruler. Have we got that in stock? Have we got this in stock at the moment? So that's, this is the one that Hannah calls stick. Yeah. And you can just... Isn't it, Hannah? You can go round it. You can use your ordinary ruler if you want to. If you want to be sure that you've got a quarter of an inch. I don't think it really matters too much with English paper piecing that you're accurate with your quarter of an inch. No. But with these small pieces, do make sure that you have got a quarter of an inch because you're pulling it over. And because it's such a small piece with such a tiny seam, you do need to have that extra fabric. So I just cut around the shapes. I've gone a bit narrow on that one, but never mind. You're not going to be doing that one, are you? I know. Do you need your glasses? Oh, you've got your glasses. These are the tiniest pieces I've ever seen. I know. Yours when will be slightly bigger. I'll show you, I'll get, show you. Yours are bigger pieces when, when the pattern comes, the pieces yes. are bigger. We did this to Jane on purpose. <laughs> 
Oh, actually, do you know what? Yours are the size of the actual, what, they're a quarter of an inch bigger all the way around, look, because this is, this is the size of your jewel. Oh, is it a jewel or a kite I've got here, sorry. It's oh, it's just falling off, Jane. It doesn't matter. Sorry. It doesn't matter. I'm too rough with it, this is why I can't <laughs> do it. So, our piece is slightly bigger. It's about a quarter of an inch bigger, Bigger all the way around, yeah. So, so don't be worrying that, that if you're sitting, home, sitting home thinking, oh, that's too small for me, yours will be this big. They'll be easier to, to um, cope with. Yeah, because look at the triangle one there. Sorry, Jane. It's OK, really. because, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, we've got the quarter-inch uh, stick. It's not called a stick, I don't think, is it? Quilter's quarter-inch. There it is, two ninety-nine. See C-through, you might not see it. Can you see it? I'll put it against my shirt so you can see it. OK? Yeah. So... Glue on the card yes. and put a dab of glue on the fabric as well. Oh. Because when you bring it over, you want that piece to stick down as well. Oh, OK. So you're bringing it as tightly as you can over the... My eyes have gone already. <laughs> oh, and yours. Bringing it as tightly as you can over the card. This is why I use slightly thicker card, because if you've got paper, you, the, there is the temptation that it might curl and Curl up, yeah. And you just go around, putting a bit of glue on the fabric onto the paper and a little bit in the in yeah. the seam allowance. You got any glue left in there? Yeah. You don't want it you don't want too it too much of it on. Just enough to hold it really. How do you make it come out? It just turns. It should turn. Oh there like you that. go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, no, I couldn't see where the turning was. Oh sorry Jane. That's alright. So you're just going around, sticking it. Are you gonna leave the papers in afterwards? No, you do take the papers out. OK. Um, you could tack this, but I think with it being so tiny and fiddly, it's easier to use. Yeah. And what do you do glue. with that big dog leg ear? That's your... Dog, your <laughs> what is it called? Ear, dog leg. Dog end. Dog leg. No, dog end's a cigarette, yeah. isn't it? When you put them together, it tucks underneath and oh, out okay. of the way anyway. OK. You can see it all <gasps> folds out of the way. OK. Okay. And the triangle. Mm. I won't tell you how many of these triangles I lost. <laughs> they just float off. So you're going to be hoovering them up. They're the all over the place. Did you do this at home or in the shop? A bit of both. A bit of both. Uh, now the glue marker, the glue um, marker is three ninety nine. I've got a refill for it here as well. This obviously only fits the prim one. No. And is, it, is there a price? One ninety nine. So if you've already got the, the prim pen and you need a refill, one ninety nine. They're really easy to refill. Oh, are they? Yeah, oh, you we just go. stick it. Well, you'll come to the end of your glue. This yeah. has got a new one in. Yeah, you've got a brand new one here. And it just comes off there. Oh, does it? Pops off, she right. says. She says without rehearsing. That's it, like that. There, there you go. Oh, I see. So it literally just pops on. Now it's, you... now it's curved, that one. Yeah. You've obviously got very hot hands. <laughs> OK. That shows how much glue you've got in there, because you're going to use I mean, it hardly. It, takes, it lasts ages. It does. So just fold that over. This is why you need to be sure you've got plenty of seam allowance, particularly with these little pieces. You can't see the cardboard anymore. No, you can't on these triangles. Yours will be bigger. Yours will be bigger. So you've got your piece like that. So now, at, in re it's more dog end than it is um, triangle, yeah. isn't it? At, in real life, did you do all the gluing and sticking before you started sewing? Yes. So you did all the cutting out of, fab of paper, yeah. all the cutting out of the fabrics, all the gluing. Yeah. So you had like hundreds of these, hundreds yeah. of these all piled up, all the all different shapes. All ready to go. And does it tell you in the pattern how many to cut in which colour? I don't know that it does. Um, I think because I think it tells you how many of each one you need for the blocks, but it doesn't tell you the colours. Oh yeah, make a total of six hexagon 
Uh, uh, got... So you have to make six of the A. Oh, that, I see. Can that's I just... hexagon A. Right, so that's hexagon A. You need to make six of those. Then you need to make six of B. Which is, that's B. And which then is you, B. That one. Right, then you need to make six of C. Which is that one. And oh, that's it? Yeah. So you and make then, 18 in all to make this, to make this little mini quilt. So if you're going to go bigger, you need to make more, more than six. Yeah, you have six of each of these little hexagons, which right. have, like, in, in hexagon A, you've got six diamond shapes. So you need to do... 36 of those diamonds yeah. and 12 of the hexagons. Yeah. And in this one, you'll need six of the middle hexagons and then you need 36 of the kite shapes and 36 of but the But you have to work triangle. that out. Yeah, you just, yeah. You make, if you're Multiply. going to do that, you're doing yeah. six okay. each time you use six. So... Um, the one going across the bottom is the one. And what's the one, the purple one's going across the top, the purple one that we're using. So length of thread... Um, if you want the purple one, please be careful because it's almost sold out. <gasps> Lovely colours. Yeah, beautiful colours, aren't they? Yeah. I like that one and I like the sunshine. What did they call the, la the last one? It's like Seaside, isn't it? Seaside, was it? I don't know, but it's, it look, reminds me of the oh. Seaside. That's the one because it's yeah. all the colours you're wearing today, look. Yeah. Blue. Blend in it's with called it. blue. Blue. <laughs> so so blue, it. purple and green are the three colour descriptions. So I'm going to attach the triangle onto one of the, si the, the sides of the kite shape. Right. I, I, need to, I need to say, this is somebody, this is for somebody who's got plenty of time or just adores doing... Or, or I mean, it might be a bit t tough for the person who's I never think, done it before. I was going to say, are I tiny, think aren't they? these pieces are... I think you'll be all right with this one. Oh, OK, OK, OK. Um, but for someone doing it for the very first time, Doing them this small could put you off. Yes. Has um, it put you off? No, because I love English paper piecing. I like having some hand sewing because it's portable. You yes. can take it wherever you want, you know. And if you've but made... You don't go very, don't I go don't go very, very far. Oh, oh, but, oh. like, if I'm watching Glenn run, I'll quite often, because once he's gone, once I've seen him go, he's gone then, and then he's gone for, like, three, four hours <laughs> when he's doing a marathon. So you go and watch him. You only see I watch him, him take off. Take off. As, when we were in Barcelona, I did go to different spots and wave to him as he ran past. Aww. Um But it's nice to have something. And if you've got children that do after-school clubs, yeah. it's nice to have something in your handbag that while you're sitting waiting, you've oh, okay, got something then. to yeah. show. And if you do all your pieces onto the card ready, so you've got all of these done, yeah. you've got a bag full of, of course, you bits, just pick and it you up, just pick it up and take it. Yeah. It's very portable. So the, the stitching... I hate this when they go close up to my hands because they're a mess. Um, they're creative hands. <laughs> Here we go. Close up on Jane's hands. Oh, they hand. don't look a mess at all, but what's that there? I'll just do that. Yeah, it's a burn, I think. Um, we go straight in. I don't put a knot in the thread. I go straight up, just through. You can feel against the card. It's very difficult when you first start to get the first thread in. Right. I'm just going to... you're having trouble getting yeah, it Yeah, because I can't see it upside down. OK. Get that first thread uh, in. Uh, the needle must be... Is it a very fine needle? Um, it's a between. OK. Um, it's not particularly fine. I always used to use between, so nice to say. Um, leave a, a, a tail. Yeah. I would probably leave it a bit smaller than that, but for demonstration purposes, yeah. I leave a long, long one. Bring your thread round. And um, when I do paper piecing, I go in straight opposite, and I'm only picking up a couple of threads each time. Right, no thimble, though. No. I've got a callus on the end of my finger that's horrendous. Have you? Yeah. Is Glenn running the Stratford upon Avon marathon? I don't think so. Because it went past the end of my house if he needs a wee. <laughs> <laughs> so just going straight up through, and it's just picking up a couple of threads each time. I mean, with them being so small... You're done within no time. Yeah, you? You, you do them quite quickly. And then just a couple of... At the end, I'm, I don't know if you're noticing, but I'm not starting on the very edge. I'm All just right. starting a little bit in. And you finish a little bit, a bit in, in as well. Because when you come to join the pieces together, if you've got too much bulky thread, particularly with smaller pieces, it's going to make bulk. Yes. Um, so just through the loop a couple of times... 
just to tie it off. I think Hannah's typing up a CV upstairs. <laughs> and just snip the thread. And then you've got the piece <gasps> there. That's a bit oh, good, but that's... my word. And you could, do you sew, oh, you don't sew one on each corner. You only sew no, on one corner. No, one corner. Because the next piece... Create, yes. ...goes against there. So you're going to sew... Is that one next? Yeah, you line that one up edge to edge. The edge that's in the middle, I don't worry too much about what's going on on the end of the, the hexagon. Yeah. Um, this is the middle because it's going to go against this hexagon there, right. here. So again, just slightly in, just catching the threads. You'll feel with your needle when you're doing it, you're against the cardboard. No, no, not again. You don't do knots. No, just just to keep it flat and, and less bulky, really. If you feel happier doing a knot, do a knot. Don't, you know, there's no rule. It's just what you feel happiest with. Oh, come and thread it. Come and thread it. I would use um, the beeswax or that, that thread magic on my thread. Thread magic. Got thread magic. Just to... Um, what does that do, then? It sort of conditions the thread and helps it go through your fabric easier. Stops it tangling. And if Anna's you... going, it's just like beeswax, John. I taught her that. What this is, is you know, in the old days, we used to have a, just have a, you had a chunk of beeswax. You used to just pull your thread through. This one, what you do is you lay your thread across it, you shut the top like that, and then you pull it through, and it just coats the thread, so it stops it knotting and it conditions it, really, doesn't yes, it? Yes, and it prevents it fraying. I mean, threads nowadays don't sort of fluff and fray so no. much anyway. But they used to fluff. As you used them, they used to fluff up. But that prevents that Do you happening. only ever use a single thread? Yes. I don't... Unless I'm doing something like that needs extra strength, I don't usually double up my thread. And how many hours did this take you to stitch? I don't know. I didn't... Oh, no, because you have to work out then that we pay you two pence an hour <laughs> then, if that's the <laughs> way. I going to say. I worked out how... Uh, just for my own... Um, Working at, you know, just out of curiosity, I worked out how many hours that quilt took me. Behind me? Yeah. And? 34. That's not long. No, it isn't. Three days, isn't yeah, it? No, it's not three days. Day and a half, isn't it? Oh. It's, it's interesting, isn't it? Because you love doing what you do and you just do it. You don't think about how long it takes. And when you're sewing, I don't know about anybody else, but when you're sewing, you're completely absorbed in what you're doing. And you so could... can't you chat to Glenn while you're doing it? I then? can, yeah, because I'm chatting to you now as well. And when you're English paper piecing, it's, it's quite easy to talk and sew at the same yeah, time. Glenn doesn't witter like me, though. He's more <laughs> sensible than me, isn't he? I've got to go and do bundles. Do you want a break? Do you want to have a break? Well, I'll carry on Oh, you carry that... on going round? I'll yeah. do that next one on here, because yes. what you do is you do this in half. So I'm going to do the... put that one on there, and then we'll come back, and I'll just show you how to get oh, that okay. back in there. If you've got, this is a brilliant show, if you've got any English paper piecing or cardboard paper piecing, English cardboard paper piecing, <laughs> whatever. If you've got any questions for Jane, this is a good one to get them in because there's no rush, is there? We're just going to be no. showing you the techniques and everything. Nice thing. Do you get sad when you have to leave it here when yes. you go home? And everybody said to me this week, because obviously the ladies in the shop see it as I'm working on it. They're like, oh, what are you working on this week? Sort of thing. And they were all like, oh, have you got to leave that behind? And I was like, yes, oh, I really like this one. It's I mean, I love... You can always pop round to my house and see it any you like. <laughs> right. Sadly, it won't be... Oh, hang on, hang on. Here you go. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's always on YouTube for you to go back and revisit, Yes, Jane. I can look at it. Yeah. Right. Purple. Oh, no. There's more purple ones in baskets than there are available. So if you definitely want it, if you definitely, definitely want it, please check out your basket. Please, please, please check out your basket. Right. The, the one, the green one that Jane made at home, and she hasn't added up the hours. There it is. She loves it there. The thing is, it's a bit different, isn't it, when you're sewing it for pleasure or you're sewing it for a deadline, thinking, oh, I've got to go home and tell you with John on Monday with this. You know what I mean? I know, the thoughts are coming on with me. That's what frightens her most, you see. Did you know this about Gutemann, about Gutemann threads? Oh, no. It's not working. I saw it on them. Um, this one's not working? This one does. Oh, you know. The end comes off and you can keep needles in it. I can't get mine to come out. Don't use your teeth. Scissors, not teeth. 
No. You won't get this, by the way. This is the one the designers use. Oh, why wouldn't mine come out then? Look, the end of you can comes out. Very easy to do, normally, and you keep your needles in there. But obviously, as soon as you start using it for a machine, you're going to have to puncture that hole there. There you go, thank you. Right. So this is this one, the green kaleidoscope mini quilt. You get a meter of the linear at the bottom and you get a meter of the white at the top and then you get half a meter of all the other colors in between plus the thread, plus the instructions for 34 pounds. You will have so much fabric left over to do another project with, which I've got an idea for in a minute. And then the one we think looks like seaside. Okay, so. You get a metre of the yellow, a metre of the linear, those two, you get a metre of each of those. There you get half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre, plus the thread, plus the instructions, plus the templates. Lots of this one in baskets. 35 pounds and 99 pence. What's the matter, Hannah? Lovely, isn't it? Loads of the basket. Please check out. If you know you definitely want it, please, please, please check out. There it is. One, two. Where's the other one then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. That's right. That's it. Well done, Han. Oh, Bex did it, not Hannah. Oh, I could leave that over there. Oh, do you want me to do that now? I'm going back. I'm going back, Jane. Okay. Sorry. No, that's fine. Uh, my other idea was now, now um, Hayley and I met these people at Sewing for Pleasure last year, when we, went to, when we went last year, when we didn't really know anybody. And we met Ashmi Designs. And what they do, now this is a, a separate project to what Jane's doing over there. But these are pre-cut hexes, but they're pre-cut in, if you have a look here, they call it hexiform. So instead of, I'll show you, I'll take one out. Instead of using papers, that's two there. It's like an interfacing. It's like a, a, a thick filing interfacing. And then what you do, you know how we always remove the papers when we're doing it? Well, you leave these in. You always put fluffy side to fabric. The fluffy side always, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, fluffy side to fabric. They come, there's lots and lots of instructions in the bag, but you leave them in. So you fold your fabric. Now, can you still glue on this one then, Hannah? You can glue based. And there is who should have did a demonstration. She hand based it, but you can glue based it as well. And then you don't take this out. You don't take this out afterwards. So it'll give it a firmer. Now, so if you, are these washable? If you put it into a quilt on your bed, is that all right then? Helps retain the shape. Oh, right. So uh, she said, uh, the lady said, if, but, uh, if you're going to make a bag with your English paper piecing, then it's good because it gives it st uh, stability and form. You can use it in a quilt, but. Okay. Okay, so it's a stabiliser. It's like a stabiliser. Oh, here we go. What do you want this time? But what? Now, from now. Yeah. All right, thank you. Will you tell Hannah upstairs as well? Oh, I can tell you now. <laughs> if you're a new buyer, from now on, and you spend 10 pounds or more, you get one of these. You get one of these. As a new buyer, as a new buyer. Ah, uh, it's lovely, little sewing, little sewing balls. Is that important? Okay. That's what you get now as your free gift, spent tempers. So you don't get your two, uh, if you're older from now on, you don't get the two meters of fabric, you get that. It's worth uh, 14 99 I seem to remember, isn't it? No? I don't, don't know. Wasn't it 14 99 Anyway, I'll find out for you. Let's get back to the hexes. I've got hexagons 32 millimeters, one and a quarter inch. Now remember, uh, the, med the one and a quarter inch is the, med side, the measurement of the side. Let me just, I'll take one out again. Do you know what? Now, I, I don't want to offend anybody, or maybe I better not say it then. But this reminds me when I was little. It's like um, a, conf bless me father for I've seen, confirmation biscuit, isn't it? No, but you're not offended by me saying that, are you? No, no, because Jane goes to church. But it's, it's, that's what it's like. That's what it's like. I don't want to offend anybody, but that's what... 
Do I? Rice, it is like rice paper. That's what I should have said. That, I know I should have said, you know those Sherbet Space Invaders? No, spaceships. That's what it feels like. That's better, that's better, that's better. Anyway, I'll move on, because Hannah's getting in the back. Oh, you get 60 of those for 6 99 60 of those. So now I've got one-inch hexes. Oh, hang on, I've got one bigger, have I? One and a half inch, one and a half. Oh, these are, these are, oh, these are made love. Look at the size of those. They're what now? <laughs> they're one and a half inch, but look, it's <laughs> it's got a one on there and a half inch there. There are one and a half inch those. <laughs> One's falling over the side. Wouldn't you put a gap, a gap? Anyway, then I've got one inch. Oh, what? Somebody fell over outside. You all right? Oh no, they're not answering. Uh, yeah, these are one inch, sixty of them, four ninety nine. So use, use your, um, use your uh, leftover fabric if you want to make another project using these. So you can see how it works. I'm just going to take an instruction out. because Look, 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 it's inside. You get a template for the fabric as well. So that's the size of the hexi, and that's the size of the fabric you need to cut. OK? And then last but not least, I've got teeny ones. Of an inch, or they're not that teeny. They're not, and they're nothing to do with our project that Jane's making. They're just, I just thought we could use these to show you how you could use up, if you love English paper piecing, how you could use up your excess fabric. Okay. Right, we're back. They're lo lovely because you can leave those in, I mean, and, um, and, what, and they're washable. Oh, right, yes. Because you can't leave your papers in, because if you washed it, you'd end up no, with all exactly. paper mache everywhere. Yeah. So I've sewn that edge down. Okay, we're just coming in now. Just using the same technique. So I've sewed the one side of the hexagon on. Right. And then we're going to sew that side. Oh, I see. So you just sewed one edge of that was the hexi, would you say? Yeah, showed this in the middle. So you then fold that, but you can, f you can fold this piece out of the way. Right. And that's, yeah, again, the beauty with the paper is it folds out of the way. And you just carry on round. I'll do bigger stitches than I would do normally. Yeah. But I think this is a bit like when I pressure washer, clean my patio. But I think, oh, just do, I can't bother doing the whole patio. It takes too long. And then once you've cleaned three, you want to, oh, just do one more row. Yes. Or oh, I'll just do that one that goes around the back of the elephant. Or oh, I'll just do that one that goes past the Buddha. And then you end up doing the whole thing, don't you? Because yes. it's kind of a little bit addictive, isn't it? It is. It's very addictive. And, and there's something about English paper piece and it. It just grows quickly. And it's this, I think hand sewing is so nice to do. Okay, now relaxing. you didn't knot, did you not knot off at the end of that? No, I've just carried straight round. So if you've got three to sew, yeah, you just, can just, just keep the going, same thread yeah. going round. You don't knot off and finish each time. No. And you can just do one, one lot in one go. And what I'm always looking for when I'm doing paper pieces is to get the longest, the longest seam, if you like. So sewing as many together in one piece of thread as possible. Right. So, like, when I, I always sew things, if I'm doing hexagons, sew everything in a half and then sew the halves together. Right. So that makes the half, and you'd have another lot of three there, which you'd then sew onto there, and you'd sew along, along that line, up, along, down, and along, and that would make that shape. Oh, uh, right, OK. With these ones here, what I did is I sewed the two, the two together to make a half. I sewed the two together there, and when I got to the bottom there, I put the third one on and came back up. So again, it was a long piece of thread. So right. you, get, you get two halves. So you've got two the same colour and a one colour, and then the other two and the other colour. Yeah. And that gives you that shape. So you have a middle hexagon. Hang on, what's, how's that one? I can't see how that one's this created. This one works. Sorry, Jane. It's okay, no. I, I can't I even see what the shapes are. You've got a diamond. You've got two hexagons. Oh, yes, I can see it now, I can see it now. And what we did was we sewed the two diamonds to the side of the hexagon there and there. Yeah. 
And then sew those two diamonds in against the hexagon like that. Yeah. And then sew the other side onto there. Right. So you make like these hexagons with wings that look a little bit like rocket ships. And then you put the diamonds like in. Like a space invader because you've got yeah. little legs on it still yeah. at the moment. So you make six of that, six, six of that, six of, of that. Six of each of those. And you a have, central. You have a centre hexagon. Right, OK. You sew. So now, does the central hexagon have to be a plain colour? No, you could use it as a. Di you could put a different colour. It's. Oh, it could be a plain colour, but any of the colours, couldn't the colours, it? Really, yeah. yes. You've, do, you've chosen just to do the background colour. Yes. Yeah. You sew. <coughs> We've got ages, Jane, so it's fine. I wanted to, to. Well, I wanted to just go over the applique. No, that's bit, fine. You can do what do you it. like. It's your show. <laughs> you just got all that time to make up when you overslept this morning. Know. I'll be catching up all day now, won't I? Because I feel like I'm behind all day. Oh. This is what happens, isn't it, when you get... No, because no, because when you leave here, that would be the time you were leaving anyway, so you yeah, can reset true. all your clocks. Yeah, so when you leave, it can, you can start again afresh with the normal. day. So those ones go sewn onto there. Right. So you would start off by sewing that side onto there. Yeah. So that was attached like yeah. that. And then you'd bring this one in, and you'd sew down there and along... Oh, now, so you'd so along, you'd go from the from side the of that hex, yeah. not the side that's so on I the would, central. Yeah, I would. Once I've got that attached to that one, yeah, I'd then put that one on there. Yeah, attach that, yeah. bring it back, and bring it down then to right. sew along there. And all your papers are still in, aren't they? Yes. You haven't taken any papers no, out yet. No, everything's still in. I don't take my papers out until I've finished the complete project. Oh, okay, okay. With one this side, it's not going to really matter. Yeah. But if you're doing a big quilt. The weight of the papers around the edge will distort the centre if you start taking your papers oh, out in the middle. Okay, it'll, okay. The weight of it will pull right. it all apart. So once you've got that made into a flower... Abs this is Emma from Derbyshire. Absolutely love EPP. Have about four large projects on the go. Perfect portable sewing. Yes. That's what you said to me. Is, yeah. Hannah loves it too. So when you've got the flower made, if yes. you like, you sew on... These the into three of the into the three corners so now, like that. So they've got change, a triangle shape. Could you change the design if you wanted to and have the, those football? Oh no! Yeah, you could have the you football ones. You could move them all yeah, different yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you take two of these. Just two. Yeah, for for the for the moment, and you attach them to there. Right. And then you've got those attached in three, and you sew those then. Against there. Oh, I see. Making sure that you've got your... Them the right way around. The right way around. So rather than sewing lots of individual ones on, you yeah, sew those... Yeah, I mean, you could sew them individually, but you sew those... Three Once together. you've got that centre flower made... Is there another one here? Is there another yes, one? Yes, you'd have... You have six of each. Oh, probably. you haven't, you haven't got enough I made. Haven't, I haven't made enough. Oh, honestly. So I don't know what job. I've been doing all day. I really don't. <laughs> yeah. So you just put those in there. And then, again, it's that longest piece of thread, isn't it? You can go all the way yes, along exactly. there. I was having a little play with it. It's called Kaleidoscope, so you can move... If you move those round, you get... Yeah, I mean, you can make it identical... Or you can just play with it. ...to Sarah's pattern, can't yeah. you? But you could just play around with it, make play it your own, couldn't Play around with it you? and make it... And it goes a different way. Hello, John and Jane. It's Faith. The quilt looks fabulous, Jane. Thank you. I can't believe it looks so much better than in pieces. Beautiful. Do you know Faith? It might be Faith. She's, oh, yes, look, she's from your way. Yes, yeah, she's helped me in the shop. Oh, so she's seen it in pieces and yeah, now she's, she's seen, seen it. Oh. So you can play around with it. That goes another way. That's you, not doing it for me, that No, one. it doesn't. If you change the colours, maybe you get a different effect. I mean, you could change the colour of this hexagon to that hexagon. Oh, yes, that's what I think it is. Yeah. You could make different different shapes. Um, the thing is, I'll tell you what there's not in here, which I quite like, is when you can colour in before you start. Yes. Then you can decide where play. the colours yes. are going to go, can't you? You can get hexagon graph paper. Can you? Yeah. I oh, don't we know want some. Ian's in the building. Um... We want hexagon graph paper is in. I had a little play with the shapes that we've already got. Yes. And I thought the two kite shapes put together looked like a little heart. Okay, so where are they from? 
Are they these? They're those shapes. But what I did, you know when we put it only on one half? Yes. I put it on two halves, on the right. two sides. And you created hearts. Well, I oh, think they yes, look like yes, hearts. Yes, I see, look. But I don't know, other people might not think they look like hearts. I think it looks very Aztec-y as well. Yeah. I mean, but I'd if say you that turn it that thing, way around, it looks like a butterfly. Right. It looks a bit like a butterfly. Oh, butterfly, yeah. So that was playing with that. It's, it comes out the same size. There's no hexagon in the middle. It comes out the same size. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. And then I put, I just did diamonds together. So that's the diamond shape that's in the pattern. So you can play with the shapes. As long as your hexagons all end up the same the size. Same size. Which so they will do if you're yeah, using, if you're the, use, using the same That's shape. also tumbling. I, now, isn't that yeah, funny? I saw block. a star. I like saw a Christmas star, but then I saw a tumbling block. Yes. No, 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 if you rearrange it, that's a tumbling block. Look, you see how your eyes, if you look at the different... That bit there. That's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's lovely. Um, I don't want to worry anybody, but I've got very loud clicks going. Click, 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 click. It could be my, my brain ticking over. <laughs> right, what are you going to show us now? We've I'm got, going to oh, show... Oh, we've got ages yet. We're ages, right? All right, right. I'm going to go over the technique of um, doing the applique. So once you've So where's a, that on here, then? This is how you attach it onto the background. So you make, you cut the square and you applique. Oh, so there's not a hole, hole behind it. It's no. not filling, fitting in a hole. No. Julie, um, I'm currently EPPing with Ashmead Hexes. It's a fantastic project. It gives your projects a beautiful finish and it can be washed as normal. Thank you, Julie. Yeah, it's lovely. Right, so what are you looking for? Um, a quick unpick. Have we got one? A quick unpick, please. Is anyone listening? Just brought one in. Have we got a quick unpick, please? Is there any one? I can go and get you one. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well done, Hannah. This is how we used to, this is This is how we used to blame Jay all the time for this one's not got everything in, this one's got everything in, because we keep. Remind me to put that back in yes, here when I we will. finish. Well, I, this is why I wanted the quick unpick. You don't need it to unpick anything, but I just use Thank it. Thank you, Chris, anyway. I just use it to loosen the glue. Oh, OK. Um, to take the papers out. You can use your iron because the heat of your iron will, will soften the glue. Yes. But I think the, the unpick. But you don't take them out when they're that size. No. You take it out when the whole When of the that... whole project. Oh, you're just the... taking that one out because you're just showing us how yeah. you're going to uh, attach that to this. Yes. Yeah. So the whole project. Can you use these again? Oh, yeah, yes, you, can. you could use them again. I mean, you can see I've gone sewn into them a little bit. Yeah. But they are, they, they're perfectly okay to use again. Is a quick bit the only way to... Oh, iron. You said iron. You it. can iron it and it would, it would come out. Just be careful because that thread's just come. Because what? The thread's just come loose on the side there. Oh. Did you not knot it off? I probably didn't. Well, no, you wouldn't have done because I suppose you were thinking of doing it... You'd have joined it to another one. Yeah. Right. That's lost its point, but it doesn't matter. Don't matter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we pretend you were taking all of them I'll out. Pretend I'll take them all out because it's like watching paint dry, isn't it? Yeah. So once I've got the whole project put together. Oh, you said a needle differently. You hold your thread still and put the needle onto the thread. Yes. Whereas most people do that, push the thread through the needle, don't they? Yeah, I think they do. I'd, I'd, it's never been a conscious thought, no. but it you sometimes. You must be taught to do it like that, though. I find it easier yeah. to do it that way. So I'm going to just tack okay. the seam down just to hold it. Right. So it stays in shape. So, so on this one, would you have tacked all the way around the outside? Yes, yeah. just to hold it in. And really, it's just where that folds over, really, to hold that thread. So that's, you know, it's just a yeah. stitch to hold the seam allowance down. Yeah, because otherwise it could, it could misshape as you're doing the whole yeah. thing. on the. And if you've got, like, extra bits that... That are sticking out, you can just fold them, fold in, them in, back in yeah. and tack them down as well. So it's just holding them down. Okay. So then I would pin it, centralize my square. I know this isn't a square, but fold well, it. You might not want. You might not want your. Lip lap quilt to be, um, or your little quilt to be a square. No, you can you? do whatever shape you want, I suppose, can't you? You could do it a hexagon shape <gasps> if you but want you to. You've do got it. to find the centre of whatever yeah. it is. So I'm just folding it in half and then in half again and just creasing, finger creasing yeah. it, so that then I can place that in the centre by lining up 
the points there and there yeah, and the scene and the there and there. I would knot my, f my thread at this point. Oh, you would? Yeah. I'll turn it that way around. Yeah. Because I come... We haven't got pins. What it's do you okay. need? It's I've right. got pins. Yeah, just a pin, just to hold it down. Got them. They're all coming around the wrong side of the table. So if we just pin that, that'll just hold it in the centre. And you'd pin, pin your whole project down. Yeah, so you, in this one, you'd be pinning the whole of that yeah. down. So starting on a side or a point, bring the thread up from the back so it comes up level with the edge of the, the project. Right. Just do a little stitch in. I'm doing this upside down, but you go opposite where you've come up into the fabric. Yeah. And then along. What stitch is this called then? It's it's like a whip stitch, I think, or yeah. a ladder stitch. And it just picks that up again and you go along. And it's like a little straight stitch. You'd use a, a thread that matched better to the background or the... We, that was going to be my next question. Would you use a thread that matched the background or matched your pattern? Oh, I think I've used the background. You've used background on this one. Yeah. Well, yes, but then I suppose you'd have to because you'd be changing your thread every second one along because you'd have to have a pinky one for there, a yes. purpley one for there, and a lilac one for there. And really, you don't see very much of the thread. When you get to the point, just go into into the corner, straight down. So it, it's just like a little straight stitch. Yeah. And then on the back, it's sort of like angled slightly. And it just holds it down. Lovely. I've got a couple of pictures here to show you. I've got loads have come in. We're just going to show a few of them. Oh, look, Jane. Oh, wow. Dorothy cool. did these. That's, I like the bottom one best. I like the flower one best. They're lovely, Dorothy. Um, something of the crosses. Oh, hang on. The what? Something of the crosses, that top one's called. It's called what? Can we go back? Sorry. It's called what? Oh, I can't think. Something of the crosses. Oh. What's it called, Dorothy? Something of the crosses. And then the bottom one's flowers. Yeah. Grandmother's oh, garden. Hang on. You said Dorothy. Oh, Doris. Sorry, Doris. They're beautiful. Sorry, Doris. Doris, Doris. Patchwork Sorry. of the crosses. Okay. Is it Patchwork of the Crosses? I want to know. She'll let us know. Doris, let us know. I love and this is, is it Sh Shelley, Shelley? <gasps> oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's Shelley and Clint, Shelley, that. They're tiny hexagons, They're aren't they? They're tiny. Anita. <gasps> that's beautiful. That's a real kaleidoscope, isn't it? Now, that's the two, isn't that the Tula pattern? But not the two, no, but not using Tula fabrics. Oh my word. I wonder what you're gonna what you're gonna make with it. It's stunning. Is it a whole quilt? Is it the size of a bed? Anna's answering for it. Oh, it's gonna be a quilt top, John. <laughs> yeah, we did. Oh wow. Lovely. Thank you. Sorry, Jane. No, that's okay. So you just go round using that stitch. Yeah. Just to hold it on, and it's 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 like a little straight stitch, and then the stitch is in the back, if you like. Yeah. So it's just a little straight stitch to hold it. But you go back when you've come through. Did you say go back? It's got a little back stitch in it. No, it's just it's just like a oh yes, like I a see. ladder stitch I really, yeah, 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 and yeah. it goes along. So it's a tiny little stitch that holds it. Um, just holds the edge. Okay. It's like a little. Got four minutes. Oh, we could take all our time. I, I need to ask you other questions about this one as well. Okay. I'll do that in a second when you've done. So when you get to the. So edge. you only go round the outside. Round side let's edge. Let's get this yeah. one. Let's get this one out. So you've literally you you've got a piece of uh, fabric. Yeah. You've just attached it all the way around the outside here. Yeah. So you don't go in any of, you don't stab stitch through any of this bit at all. No, so that, I haven't if I done. did that with the fabric, it would be. Yeah, it would come <coughs> off. <coughs> okay. um, I quilted. 
Echo quilted in the middle. Right, so hang on, hang on. So you then put some wadding behind it. Yes, it's wadding. But you didn't and go through, you no. haven't made a sandwich. No, I just went through the wadding. Is this what you use? Yes. Craft wadding. So you just put a layer of that behind just the front of yeah. the thing, yeah. I mean, you could you could layer it up and quilt through if you wanted to. Yeah. There's no, there's, again, no rules. I just echo quilted the middle. By hand. Hexagon. Yeah. And then just again around the edge. But I suppose what you could do is, if you want to, you could carry on echoing it. Yeah. To the edge edge, couldn't you? You could keep going, couldn't you? And you, there's nothing to stop you quilting. Anywhere. Oh, really? You, you wouldn't I'd be adver averse to that? No, then. you can you can do as much or as little as you want to, really. And then, then, so once you've done that quilting, you then put a backing on, but yeah. you, you haven't turned it through because you've just left all the wedges raw, 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 and yeah, then put a binding, binding on, on it. Yeah. So now you've made it into a mini quilt, but what you could do is you want to make it into a cushion. Like, oh, they're not here anymore. You know, the cu you've made cushions like this for us mm, yes, before, haven't yeah. you? Where you could make it into a cushion front. Yeah, you could. Or if you didn't want to quilt it, you could put it in a frame, in a glass frame, couldn't you? And have it just completely flat yeah. in a frame. You could use it into a quilt. You could make it into a block. You could bring this, make the backing smaller. Yes. And make lots of them and put them in a block or the centre of a quilt and have other blocks. Would you have them on your bed? Why not? Like a big one like that? Yeah, why not? And how many years would that take, Jane? I don't know, it was <laughs> loads. <laughs> well, I suppose, the thing is, the thing is though, the thing is though, a lot of our viewers are people who've finished their careers now and they've got time and they, uh, they it's, like you say, it's addictive, isn't it? It is. And, and once you've made one, you think, oh, I'd quite like to do that again. It'd be quite nice to do one in this colourway, one in that colourway, one in another yeah. colourway. The little hexagons themselves, once you've got all your prep done, they don't take very long at all, no. really. And also, don't forget, these look absolutely tiny. Those little triangles. The ones in your... I don't know what I've done with it. It was here minutes ago. The one in the pattern has got... Oh, there it is. Has got a bigger triangle in it. Look there. It is a bigger triangle. So your pattern will come out bigger than this one. OK. Is there anything else you'd like to um, tell me about before you go home? No, I don't think so. Oh, hang on. Louise has asked a question. Oh, hang on, Alison's also, I bought all the Macau solid bundles for my stash, that fabulous, thank you, Alison. Oh, thank you, very welcome, Alison. Uh, is Louise coming up here? Yes, sorry if I missed this earlier, but what size needle did you use, Louise? I think it's a nine, but it's a between. It's a between, so not a long needle, not a short a long. needle. You don't, you don't, when you're doing small stitches, you're better off with a smaller needle because it helps you make smaller stitches. Yes. And not too thick, you want quite a fine, yes. fine-ish needle. Thank you. When are you back? 13th. Is it a Friday? No, it's a Saturday. Sunday. Oh, is it? Am I on? Yes, I think we're together, aren't okay, we? that's good. Uh, uh, all right, then. I'm not going to ask what you do. Have you started? No. <laughs> oh, it's two weeks away. No, but the, they want the quilt before. Um, yeah. I put her in such a difficult position, <laughs> don't I? Jane, you're a darling. Thank you so much for you're doing all welcome. that. You're very welcome. It's and a we pleasure. And we really, really, really do appreciate the fact that you spent 36 hours <laughs> making that, and we most probably paid you for four. Well, but I, love, I mean, I love doing it, and it, um, it's helping me. I mean, I, I helped Amanda make, do the long-arm quilting, yes. so I'm learning to, to how to use a long-arm quilter. Did you do that side over there? Yeah, the one that's yeah. finishing. Um, <laughs> and also, you know... I'm trying different techniques that I may not all try, yes. and I get to use gorgeous fabrics. But you just get to have it delivered to my house instead. <laughs> You're... Thank you so much. Oh, Laurie sent a nice message in. Uh, lovely demo, Jane, clear and concise. Oh, can you bond a web to attach your background? Um, yes, I don't see why not. If you've, got, if you've got it folded over, if you've got it hemmed if over... If you've already folded it over, and then you, you bond bonded with the, the whole, whole thing. 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 Yeah. Okay, got to go. Thank you, Jane. You're welcome. Just watch that quilt doesn't get taken down and put in the back of a car. Right, green bundle first. The purple has sold out. Here's the green one. This is the one that Jane had made originally at home. Uh, what you get is you get the pattern, you get the thread, you get a metre of the uh, linear, a metre of the white, and then half a metre of each of these lovely colours here. Thread and instructions, £34.99. There's the picture. Then I've got the blue, which uh, Jane thinks looks like seaside. 
I think it just goes nicely with her outfit. You get a metre of the yellow, <clears throat> a metre of the sunshine uh, linear, half a metre of all the gorgeous blues there. One's a linear and the other spectrum solids. You get the thread and the instructions. £35.99. Lots of that one in the basket. So please, please, please make sure you check out if you definitely want it. Oh, OK, there's a quick message about yesterday's YouTube. Oh, I thought you'd been, I thought you'd been fixed. Has it not been fixed? Oh, uh, OK, right, so the people are, are messaging saying, oh, I can't watch YouTube the first four hours on YouTube at the moment. Saturday you can, Sunday, that, but the Saturday ones didn't go on until the end of Saturday. The Sunday ones are being worked on, because at the moment you can only watch the four hours of clearance, which you might want to sit and watch, but you won't be able to buy anything because it nearly all sold out. But the, the four hours that Natasha did yesterday morning should be, they're, they're working on it now, so they should be going on very, very soon. So just in case you are wondering where it is, that's what happened, that's what happened. Don't go anywhere, I've got brand new fabrics. Brand spanking new fabrics coming up. Uh, in the next hour, including... Oh, now, if you want that panel with the quilt labels on, be in straight away, because they're limited. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Hi, I'm Lucy Brennan, and these are my three top tips. My first top tip is to experiment. It's really about um, playing and using all the different features of your sewing machine. So for example, when I was quilting this quilt, I used um, a wavy quilting stitch, which gives a really lovely texture to the quilt. So it's worth having a play about and using um, scraps or little quilt sandwiches um, to try different things. My second top tip is about combining fabric. A lot of people um, like getting the pre-cuts, which are fantastic. That gives you a whole range of a collection. But it doesn't mean that you just have to use those together. It can be nice to mix them in with other fabrics that you've got in your stash or mix them in with solids and create something really unique. My third top tip is sometimes you just need to go for it. You can't always plan everything out. So you might combine fabrics, be making a block, and it not look exactly how you wanted it to. But until you sew it together, you don't always know how it looks. And there's always a way of combining things and making it look right in the end. We've got a very special deal for you today. If you spend over £50 with us, you will receive Mettler's Pretty Pastel Cotton Thread Pack worth £12.99 completely free. Mettler's stunning pack of eight perfectly coordinating spring pastels is the perfect addition to your sewing box. Just think of all the spring sewing you could do with 150 meters of silky finished cotton. This offer is available for both online and television purchases and the spring threads will automatically be added to your basket at checkout. So stock up on sewing essentials and get this pretty thread pack free with your next purchase over 50 pounds. We are moving channels. For those of you who watch us on Sky, please note that our channel number is changing. From the 1st of May, Sewing Quarter will be live on channel 687. Our Freeview channel will remain the same, channel 78, and you'll still be able to watch our live shows every single day starting from 8 a.m. So, if you watch us on Sky, please remember we'll be moving to channel 687 from the 1st of May. I'll see you there. Join us on Thursday the 3rd of May when Lucy Brennan is back in the studio with a small but perfectly formed quilt design. This mini quilt by cool US designer Nicole Calver is a breeze to make and will look as good on your wall as it will in a cushion cover. Created for Love Patchwork and Quilting magazine, the design comes as a kit in three delicious colourways. Choose from fuzzy peaches, juicy purples and good for you greens. Lucy has all the know-how and is ready to show us how it's done, including clever tips for making half-square triangles. So tune in for an hour of mini quilt greatness, Thursday the 3rd of May at 9am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 687.
Now, if you saw the advert then, uh, it's not just us changing, everybody on Sky is changing, but you don't have to do anything. It's not like Freeview where, where you have to refresh your box and everything. It'll just happen. It just means when you, when you switch on tomorrow morning, if you go to 678, you'll see me selling shoes, right? If you go to 687, oh no, I'm not on tomorrow, you'll, you'll see Natasha selling um, beautiful um, sewing quarter fabrics. Right, 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 right. Now this, right, this, 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 I'm gonna have disappointed people. If you saw at eight o'clock, I, I, don't bring the graphics in yet. Don't bring the graphics in, right? Um, look at this, right? I showed it at eight o'clock. It's a panel of uh, beautiful quilt labels, look. That's what you'll get. That's what you'll get. Uh, you chop them all up. Well, you can do what you want with them, but you can chop them up and put them on the back of quilts and everything like that, or you could just use it as the main panel in a quilt if you wanted to. I love it. The thing is, are you nearly at the bottom? Yeah. The thing is, I don't think there's enough. I personally do not think there are enough of these because I think so many people are going to want this. I'm going to put the graphics in. I'm apologising now because I know there won't be enough to go round. And I don't know, I don't know if we can get it again. I don't know if we can get this again. Are we ready? A panel with quilt labels, 6 99 Six pounds and 99 pence. Have a look at, do you know what I might do? Let me move over to the main table and I'll put it out on the table and we can look at all the different labels. We can look at all the different labels on the desk. Oh, we'll have to look very quickly. Third, we've gone into the baskets already. Look, 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 aren't they fantastic? So you can cut them out. Stitch them to the back of quilts that you've made. Oh. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I can't. hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eight, nine, 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 27. Half the stock's gone, checked out, not just in baskets, checked out. I'm ever so sorry yet again if you're watching the repeat. We have upped all our quantities, but still, 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 it's because, you know, it's testament to our buying team, isn't it? They're just buying all these fantastic things for you. It's lovely, which is your favourite? I love the one with roses, or oh, like the butterfly ones, or oh, the shell one's nice as well. at six pounds and 99 pence. Patricia's went to message and all it goes is, here, as in, how's it spelt? H-E-R-E, -E. that's all it says. Patricia, my love, that's all you've sent through. Here. Um, now remember, if you buy two of these, come join together, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to cut them up, I imagine, anyway, aren't you? Shut it, shut it, shut it, shut it, shut it, shut it. Sorry, 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 sorry. I've got another apology to make now as well. I oh, know, my life's just one big apology. You see this? At this moment, at 11.05, I've got this many. I've got this many left. So if you watch New Pink, you can try and ask, but I think it, what it is, if you spend 50 pounds or over today, while stocks last, you get these free metal threads, the spring threads, right? Um, Today has been crazily busy, again. And uh, these are flown out, absolutely flown out. I'm, I'm worrying now about my earpiece because I've just got a constant, da, 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 constant, constant, constant. And it's not Hannah, and it's not me, it's not me, not the connection. Anyway, oh, stop now. Stop now. Anyway, brand new fabrics, brand new fabrics. And remember, if you're a new buyer, and you spend 10 pounds or over on your first purchase, you get one of these. At new buyers, 10 pounds or over, you get one of these. They're lovely. I think they're worth 14.99, I'll double, I will double check. I will double check. Cute. There we go. Right, let's do some brand new Fabricos. You've seen the advert. I know you're going to love them. Right, what I'm going to do is the first four are a theme. 
So normally on these premiere hours, I wouldn't show you them all together. I'm just going to go one, two, three. But I think it's only fair that you see all four of these together. One of them is more limited than the others. These are the ones you've been seeing in the advert. So it's patchwork fabric that's printed. And um, look, it's going to get that vintage feel immediately. So we've got red, blue, black, and like a neutral color. Oh, they called it beige. So we'll start with the blue one. Start with the blue one. Whenever, whenever we do fabrics like this, like whether it's a Christmas fabric, whether it's a, any sort of printed up uh, quilt, uh, patchwork, it flies out the door. Now it's seven berry, seven berry fabric made in Japan. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous quality fabric. Oh, it's 5.99 for half a meter. That's obviously a meter that I'm showing you on the table there. 5.99 for half a meter. Oh, look what it's called. Lovely blue, lovely flower blue. I love it. Look at the fabrics involved. You've got a gingham, you've got a spot, you've got a blue ditzy, you've got a white ditzy, you've got a tiny, tiny floral print, you've got a stripe like a Tanya Whelan stripe in there. Uh, Reva, my love. Reva, Reva, Reva. Um, Hannah's been getting your web chats. She says, can you please email in the next hour? Please email studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com, and she will forward it on. Here's, here's the email address. Uh, she will forward it on to the person who will be able to answer your question. I don't know what the question is, but she won't be able to answer it. She can't answer it at the moment. OK. Marie, got it. I've never moved so far, said Marie. <laughs> what did you get, Marie? Do you think it's the, was it the quilt label, do you think? Bada da, Marie, bada da. Got it, got it, never moved so fast, she said. Oh, I'd love to have seen that. I'd love to win a fly on the wall, Marie. Louise, really enjoying watching Sewing Quarter. Only discovered it recently and made my first purchase yesterday. Oh, Louise, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Did you write in the clearance or did you get it from Natasha yesterday morning? Because she had some lovely projects on Angie's projects. Yes, they were lovely, weren't they? Anyway, how are we doing? Oh, let's just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Yeah, Marie, you can sit down. Get yourself a cup of tea, Marie. Okay, so that's the one in blue. Remember, it's seven berry, quilting weight cotton, machine washable. Oh, was, uh, was it 44 wide? I'll measure the next one. I'll measure the next one. Okay, here's the red one. <gasps> oh, I'm going to red, is that what you asked for? Did you not want to do red next? Okay. No, no, next, I'll come back to that. Black, huh? This one's quite striking, isn't it, this one? Mm -hmm. I, I'm just gonna ask you to look at this fabric a second here, and I'm just gonna look at the connection on my, um, see if it's, if, I don't think it is me, but. I, I, oh, sorry, I stopped talking, didn't I? Uh, this is lovely. So this is lovely flower. Oh, so I see. Lovely flower is the pattern, isn't it? Lovely flower is the pattern. Uh, and this one's in black and cream. Nice, isn't it? I'm imagining summertime. Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are swimming and the cotton is high. 5 99 for half a meter. 100 cotton. Oh, it's going to measure it. That's what it's going to do. So busy carrying on singing. I'll just measure it for you quickly. Oh, yeah, 44 inches wide. 44 inches wide. Patricia says... Oh, she was trying to send... Patricia, it was an email. I, I'm trying to send a picture of her latest quote, and she's put, here. So she sent it now. Say that again. Well, she, didn't she email it through the first time? An email here through. Oh, okay, so the web chat, you can't send it on a web chat, you can only send a picture on an email. That could be why you had a problem. Nice, isn't it? I like that. 
Look. Okay, moving on. Now. Yeah. Oh! And uh, thank you, Louise. Prob only probably. Here we go. This is in the crypt. Now, I think this might be my favourite. I think. Only think. Only think, because that's a mood we're in today. Probably. It's probably my favourite. You see, I don't like the word beige, but I love that fabric. Oh, that's not called lovely. No, no, because the last one was called lovely flowers, and this one's called beige floral. Oh, okay. Seven berry beige floral. I don't think he's got a name. It hasn't, I haven't got a name. I've just got a great big number 12 written on the corner. Yours won't come with a great big 12 written in felt pen on the corner. But a dad jump. Yes, it was the labels. I am decorating was up a ladder. Oh, Marie. So she's got me on the telly. She's up a ladder painting. And then she suddenly has to run down the ladder, get a credit card, get a phone. Oh, my word, Marie. You be careful now. I oh, know, imagine if, oh, don't, don't, doesn't bear thinking about. Anyway, I'm glad you got it, Marie. Ba da da. Shumai, Jochen Vauer. Just that's me just wittering away in Welsh there for you. Okay? Right, the red one now, it's more, I'll tell you what. A warning for upper ladder, this is limited. The red one's very, very limited. I think it's limited because it's going into a project in the next few days. We're presuming, I don't know, I don't know, might be wrong, but <coughs> what I don't want to do is say, you see, that's lovely flower. Um, I do like this one. I said the beige one was my favourite, but I think I like this one. I've got a feeling it'll be in a project. So if it sells out today, keep your eye out because it might be in a project later on. It's nice though, isn't it? Look, those lovely squares. Oh, I know what I haven't done. Are they, how, how big do you reckon those squares are? Two inches? Oh, I'm the right end of the tape might be a help. Yep, two inch squares. They're two inch squares, look. Now, would you leave it like that or would you cut it up and read it? Me patchwork it. Dawn, I got the quilt labels, hooray! Hooray, Dawn, congratulations, well done. I know, they're lovely, aren't they? So this is the red one. She lives near Barnsley, Dawn. Are you down that way, near Barnsley? I had my first frothy coffee in Barnsley. Yeah, and Hannah's got um, friends in Barnsley and enemies. One day I'll tell you the story about how she kissed a boy, you know, who had a girlfriend. And the girlfriend found out. And then she, then she stalked her on Instagram. Now, the girl, yes. Anyway, I'm not telling you that story because Hannah's mum might be um, listening. Oh, no, she'll be at work today, won't she? But Elaine might be watching, might she? Elaine, Elaine is Shazza's neighbour. Shazza is um, Hannah's mum. And she pops around, she went, oh, you know John's coming to visit, don't you? Oh, no, John's doing this, you know John's doing that. Right, the other one in the advert that you've seen is this be beautiful one. Say that again. Oh, get well soon, Elaine, if you are watching. Get well soon. She's not been very well, apparently, Hannah's just saying. Right. <gasps> I love this one. Yes. Do you remember when we did, Joy did that lovely quilt and we had the, the two peacocks in the middle like that and then all the blues all round it. And then she made me a little mini quilt for Norman. Reminds me of that, but you know what? Wouldn't this look gorgeous as a summer dress? I love, like a 1950s fitted bodice, flared skirt, fuller length, princess skirt. I think it's lovely. Now, this is 44 inches wide again. 100% cotton, really, really beautiful quality cotton. It's made in Japan, this is, for Savonberry. Oh, I love it. Let me hold it up for you. Look. Isn't that lovely? Oh, 
Oh, I know where you are. I won't say, I won't say it shout out loud, Dawn, but it's in between Sheffield and Barnsley. I know it is. Oh, I love, oh, thank you, Dawn. I'm glad you love the channel. I'm just going to have a look at this on as a, I'm just thinking now, if you didn't do it as a, as a bodice dress, you could do it as like a bustier, you know, like, hang on. I don't know how I could do this without it. Look, oh, look. Summer holiday dress. Do the two little spaghetti straps on it. Or make it into a maxi dress. Oh, look, no, not a maxi dress. Three quarter length skirt. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, I'm liking that. Thank you, Mandy. Reva, this is service for you, isn't it? Your email has gone to uh, the appropriate person or people who will be sorting it out. If you don't hear from the Reva, let me know, and I'll go slap a few bottoms for you. Not in a good way. Oh, no, that came out wrong. I love this. I really, not the slapping of bottoms, I love this. That's good. I will recap, don't worry. I'm, I want to get through all the fact, because it's an hour of very different fabrics, lots of different fabrics. Now, this, now, I've got three fabrics here that all go beautifully together. I'll show all three of them together, because um, just so you know, because they, oh, look, they'd work so gorgeously together, these three, wouldn't they? These are still seven berry fabrics. So there's this one, which we're going to start with. That's scattered blue flowers. This one is ditzy. And this one is sprigs small. OK, just so you know, if you want to put the three together, because I think they work beautifully. I'm going to start off with this one, though, which, again, would look beautiful as a, as a fitted dress, summer dress. It has got a, feel, a liberty feel about it, hasn't it? Oh, yes, that's lovely. Do you know what it is? It's also Liberty, but slightly Laura Ashley in her heyday. My friend Anne used to be the designer. Oh, I can't remember the name of her job now. She was like Laura Ashley's right-hand woman anyway. Oh, Louise loves the fishes on my shirt. Thank you, Louise, my love. Little. What's that song about little fishes? On a little fishy when the ball comes in. It was a theme, it was a theme for a, a TV show when I was little called When the Boat Comes In with James Bowler in it. It was set up in Geordieland. And this is lovely anyway. Scattered blue flowers, 5 99 for half a metre. 100 percent cotton. That's fresh, isn't it? Very, very, very fresh. Five pounds and 99 pence for half a metre. Lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous fabric. Don't worry, don't worry. You can do it afterwards. Do it afterwards if you want. But um, Right. That's lovely. Do you know what? That, I'm sure it would be nice in that. Oh, I couldn't wear it for telly. It'd be too small for telly, but um, it's nice, isn't it? For real life. I'm thinking summer barbecues. Uh, which one would you like next, the Ditsy or the Little Sprig? Ditsy. Leave it switched off for longer this time, mate. We've got multi-million pound equipment in the studio here, and he's tried everything to sort it out, right? And he's going, I'll just switch it off and switch it back on again, see if that works. Now, let me just measure this. Oh, no, I'm doing it wrong. Right? This looks like it's wider, Hannah. I can't hear them because they're switching my talk back off, you see. Oh, no, well, it is wider. It's 46 inches wide, this. Just a little bit wider. 46 inches wider. Look, aren't they lovely? Seven berry blue ditzy daisies. Five pounds and 99 pence. Seven berry blue ditsy. They're lovely, aren't they? Let me just put my hand in so you can see the size of the print. It's a lovely, tiny little print. It's so delicate, isn't it? Oh, do you know what? You could make a dress for you 
out of the, the blue scattered flowers, then make a dress out of the little daughter out of this one. Or, and then a shirt for the little son. <gasps> I'm doing a whole family styling, summer styling at the moment. 5.99, half metre. Seven berry, 100% cotton. 46 inches wide, this one, for some reason. It's nice, though, isn't it? It's pretty. Um, if you're quilting as well, it'd be lovely as a, as a blender, wouldn't it? Or as a, a border and things like that. There we go. Okay, and then the last one in this range is even smaller print. This is like the, um, what's it called, Newland? Like the, in the initial Liberty, oh, Liberty print. We had large Newland, but it was tiny like this. It was tiny like that, because it is a small print look. It's the same blue. It's exactly the same blue as in the scattered flowers. There's a darker dot, oh, ow, ow. there's a darker dot, and then there's a, a cornflower blue flower. Got a question coming in. Carolyn, love the ditzy material. Is it floaty enough to drape the shoulders in a kimono style? In the middle, in the ditzy one. And, uh, what I'll do is I'll drape it in a minute for you, Carolyn. I'll drape it for you in a second. This is that, well, it's the, it's the same fabric, but I'll do it with the ditzy in a second. Hang on, right. oh, I've got Mr. Nicky. Having a lovely time watching on my day off. You cheer me up. You cheer up, not cheer me up. You cheer up a very gloomy day. Oh, it's, it's not very nice in Surrey today either, then. Oh, dear, it must be. Oh, they said in the southeast and coming up to Middles was torrential rain today, didn't they? Uh, up north, in Scotland and Northern Ireland, it's going to be fine. Right, let me go back to, let me go back to this one for Carolyn. Would it be all right to drape as a kimono? I'd wash it, I'd wash it first, Carolyn. Definitely wash it first. Oh, it's, you mean like a kimono for in the morning, when you first wake up in the morning? Or a kimono sleeve on a blouse? Let's just have a look. Let's just drape it first of all like this. Ow. Oh, it, it, it drapes beautifully, look. It does drape beautifully. Um, and I think it would be perfect for kimono once you'd washed it. Once you'd washed it. It's got a dressing in it at the moment. But if you wash that, that's going to look lovely as a kimono, isn't it? What I'd do, what I'd be tempted to do is buy one, a, a bit of one of the other fabrics to do all the cuffs and the, and, and the belt and the pockets, maybe. Just my own um, little ideas there. It's not a sateen. It hasn't got a sateen to it. It's not like a, a lawn. It's heavier than a lawn, but it does, it has, and it hasn't got a sateen finish. It's got a, you know, your normal cotton mat finish. Okay, so that's those three. Oh, Emily. Hi, John, love the programme. Have you brushed your hair today? What does that mean? I'll tell you what it is. It's heavy, right? I haven't been able to get to the hairdressers. Everyone keeps saying they like it longer, right? So I've left it longer, right? But then it won't stand up on its own. What to do is I've put it up like that when I get out of the shower, and then it's all flopped down to the side. I don't possess a comb or a brush. Emily. Anyway, I love this. Oh, go away. Now this is linen mix, this one. This is a linen mix. It's linen and cotton. Oh, my word, it's wide. Oh, I've had an email from Sheila. Right, now, all the pieces of fabric I'm holding up are a metre in size, so that's two units, Sheila, two units, my love. Oh, Cheryl, we're working on the Sunday's YouTube. I'm sorry, again, Saturday's is there. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, um, we, did take, we did eight hours live yesterday. Natasha did four hours of, like, normal in the morning, and I did four hours of clearance in the afternoon. At the moment, only four hours of clearance on YouTube. They've managed to get the Saturday's ones on. They're working to get the Sunday ones on. This is 57 inches wide, 145 centimetres. Now, it's 45.55, I think, isn't it? Oh, I thought you told me that this morning. I think this is 45 cotton, 55 linen. Is Laura in? 
or Ian's in, isn't he? Can you ask, can you ask Chris to ask Ian for me? I thought, we'd, I thought we'd done that one. It's lovely. Is it? Now, so it's, it's got linen in it. It looks nothing there on your telly. Let me hold it up. It looks nothing there on your telly, but it's a lovely... These would make lovely trousers. It's that nice... It's quite a... He, not a heavy weight, but it's a sturdy weight. It's not that soft wuffed away linen it's a lovely because it's got the cotton in it as well and you know what? having the cotton in it it's not going to crease it will still crease because the linen contact made with flax but it's not going to crease as much look and look at that price you see linen mixes are normally a lot more expensive than that aren't they and look at the width it's fantastic isn't it it's that lovely natural it's got the it's like osnaberg it's like the color of osnaberg this one it's got that lovely, natural, beautiful, uh, well, what you call linen. What you call linen. If you were describing the colour of linen, this is the colour it would be, isn't it? What I'll do is I'll move on and I'll come back and I'll let you know the composition. We're just asking the buying department now. Oh, John, that's gorgeous. Thank you. Like your idea too. Oh, Carolyn, my pleasure. That's what I'm here for. Right. Got more brand new fabrics. More brand new fabrics. These three are from the same range. Oh, ooh, ooh. This is called Enchanted Garden, this one. Three fabrics from the Enchanted Garden. Look at them, aren't they lovely? This one's got, this one's got hedgehogs and birds and butterflies. This one's got, I've got a snail on this one. This one's got flowers on it. And this one's got trees and flowers on it. So Cheese, not cheese. I think Hannah might be hungry. Everyone. Oh, cheese. Now, again, this is a meter that I'm showing. So this is two units on this one. It's the Enchanted Garden. 100% cotton by Nutex. Not had them before, have we? Nutex fabrics. It might be Nutex. N-U-T-E-X, Nutex. It's from New Zealand. It's from New Zealand. It's not, a, it's not a British company, it's a New Zealand company. Isn't that funny you were asking that? When you looked at this fabric earlier, you weren't you? You were saying it feels like it's come from somewhere else. Hang on, I will unwrap. <gasps> oh, look! He the hedgehogs on this one, and the butterfly, and the snail! There's the, oh, where are you? There's the snail. There's the butterfly. Oh, it's another snail. Oh, it's two snails. Oh, they've had a row. They've had a row. There's the hedgehog. Now, there's also a different hedgehog somewhere. Oh, no, maybe there's only the one hedgehog on this one. Oh. The hedgehog on the other fabric. The hedgehog's got a friend. Anyway, I like it. Like it. These trees here, we've had a fabric. That's, that, what does that remind me of? Is it dashwood that, re that reminds me of? Anyway, I'm right on the seafront here in Eastbourne and we've got torrential rain and it's blown a gale. Well, that's your fault for living on the seaside, June. Oh, how lovely. I'd love to live on the seafront, even on, on rainy, cold days. Um, was it an escape to the country? No, it wasn't an escape to the country. No, it was a grand... Not illusions, that's a shop. Grand Designs. I think it was Grand Designs. And they built... A, oh, it was lovely. I watch all of them. They all get merged into one. I started watching that ugly house into nice house. Didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. Anyway, I love this. Enchanted Garden Scenic. $5.99. Okay, I think. Can't be moving. Oh, halfway through the hour already, look. Any? Hannah's, Hannah's having fun. Any? Uh, which one would you like next? The one that matches it or the one with the, gr the grey back? I like this one. Again, same range, same range, same range. Only flowers on this one, though. Flowers, leaves. But the reason we like this one, Hannah, I've realised, it's got ochre in it, that's why. It's got the ochre and the grey, which we love together. Oh, I like, I love that. Oh, hang on, Mary. I love... Where's my flag on that? I've loved this flower. So hang on, let me go. That, that flower there, it's my favourite one. Enchanted Garden, 100% cotton from New Zealand. 
5.99 for half a metre. Did we get a back about the linen? Oh, OK, sorry. Thank you. Enchanted Garden. If I don't get to answer you on the linen, as soon as the buying department know, they will put it on the website, so you've got it there. Again, this is 44 inches wide. I love that grey background. Now, are we seeing furnishing or are we seeing clothes? Or are we seeing cuffs? You see, I'm seeing um, binding and cuffs and reveres and things like that. Carolyn. Oh, now Carolyn's back. Now I'm thinking camper van cushions with enchanted gardens. It's a good job hobbies at work. Spend, spend, spend. Oh. <laughs> Now, the last fabric of the, the day, it's not camper, camper vans, but you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Loads of you are going to love it. So don't wait. Don't wait. If you like, see something else you like, get that. But ooh, right, moving on. Last one of Enchanted. I'm really hungry today. I can feel my... Oh, oh I'm going to go straight away, I'm afraid. I'm going to eat my boiled egg and go. I am. You don't owe me anything. Yeah, but then you bought the theatre ticket, so I owe you now. How much are they, the tickets? We're going to see Amy. You know Amy, who used to work here? Not the presenter, Amy the Floor, who, Janice's daughter. She's in a play about Ruth Ellis at the, in Brindley Place. And um, not about Ruth Ellis in Brindley Place. The play's in Brindley Place. And, and she doesn't play Ruth Ellis. She plays her friend. And uh, 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 we're seeing it on Saturday matinee. And Hannah's bought the tickets. Uh, is that upside down? It is, because look, the hedgehogs are different, look. And the, well, that bird's upside down, but then that one's not, is it? So it's whichever way, isn't it? Scatters. Well, actually, I've put it the right way, because the selvage writing's on that side. So there you go, that's the right way. I'll show you what, I'll show you, what you get for your 5 99 There's your half metre that you get for your 5 99 That's what you get there. Who was it messaging? It wasn't Carol, was it? It was... Uh... And not to worry, not to worry. Sheila. That's where you get Sheila. What do you think this one is? What's that? Are they walnuts or something? Oh, no, because there's a three one there. There's a three one there. Oh, I know. Their trees have been cut down, and you've seen the rings within the... In the, in the so how old it is, yeah, exactly. Because there's um, leaves and birds and snails. Really old. God, imagine if they cut me open and saw that. 5 99 half a metre, 100% cotton from New Zealand. Carolyn says, now I'm thinking, oh, no, I've got that one. Oh, I've got this one. Now I've got a Caroline one that hasn't come through. Caroline says, morning, John. I have some Nutex fabric or Nutex fabric. Lovely quality. And she was told by Nutex that it's colour fast as well. There you go. Fantastic. Thank you, Caroline, for that. Right. Stand by your beds. These two fabrics, these two fabrics now are... Oh, Hannah got very excited. She clapped. Uh, are, these are going to fly out. I've got lots of them, but they are going to fly out. I'm going to show you them both because they're the same fabric, but in different colourways, right? Completely different, completely and utterly different to the fabrics I've done so far. They're fleece. They are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous soft fleece. Now, I might need a glass of water put on, put on one side for me. Um, hang on. Oh, it's double-sided fleece. We didn't notice that in prep today, did we? Oh, my word. <laughs> I've got water, I'm all right, I'm all right. Right, look at the width. First of all, it's wider than my arms. So it's, t it's wider than five foot ten. Oh, this will be a selling point now. Telling. But look, you can use either side. One side is um, richer in colour. But this side... You can, it's like when Joe, when Joe Carter makes an animal. So you can use either side. This side has got a deeper, a deeper um, pile, but that's got that. Oh my! Thank you. Thank you anyway. 
This side here, oh. Right, let me, right, we're gonna put the graphics in. I'm gonna measure it while the graphics are coming in. This is a me, yeah, this is a meter that you're seeing here. But I'll show you what half meter is in a minute. I just need to do the width first, because it's so wide. One, two, three. 4.99 for half a meter. 4.99 for half a meter. It's neutral, paw print, coral. Not sure why it's called coral. The width is longer than the tape measure. 60. Five and a half inches wide. 65 and a half inches wide. So let me just show you what you get for your half meter. Um, you see, I'm thinking you could make yourself a fleece out. We've got a doggy, you know, walking fleece. Make a warm scarf out of it. Uh, make a doggy bed out of it. No, they're not cat paws. They're definitely not cat paws, are they? Cats have only got, I think cats have only got three pads, haven't they, anyway? My mind have, yeah. That's why they're unhappy today. Look! Look, 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 look. That's what you get for your 4 99 a lot. Yep. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot. But if you want it, check out. Look. Oh, and it's so soft. I can't tell you. This is like the softest. Remember, when you use this, if this isn't as bad as some of the, the fleeces we've had, I have to admit, there's just a little bit of fluff. But also, just brush your, brush your machine through. You're supposed to clean your machine all day, every time you use it, aren't you? But, oh, oh, my word. It's lovely. I can't describe, it's even nicer than the fabric we had to make the whales right at the beginning. Do you remember that fluffy? Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. You see, oh look, make a poncho. Make a winter poncho out of it when you need to take the dog for a walk. We've got some scissors, I could do one now. Oh no, they're gone. Okay, over the half the stock's gone already. I've got the other colorway, which they're calling monochrome. But if you want the beige, or what is they're calling this? Coral. No, neutral's the colour. Coral must be the pattern, look. Look. Come with me. And this is a metre, by the way. But so to buy all this, it's a tenner. It's a tenner to buy all of this. Oh, do you know what? Norman and Nelly would love this on the bed. They might get angry that there's dog prints, paw prints on it, but... Okay, they, uh, they've, got, they've got a blanket made out of this. That somebody where I worked before, one of the viewers made for me and it had Norman and Nelly written, embroidered on the side of it. Right, okay, I'll just put that there. Monochrome now, monochrome. St oof, stay on the phone like, oh, nice. Oh, now this one has a definite different color on the back. I don't, can you see, the, oh, can you see it? Yeah. Oh, actually, no, that is the, that's the front. Yeah, that, I'd say that. Oh, no, 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 that's the front. That's the front. That's definitely the front. Oh, it's, it's, it's got stretch to it as well. So if you want the composition of this, please go to the website. And will they, will they, will anyone say anything? No. 4 99 Say that again. Four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now, this is the only other fleece I've got in this hour, but I need to tell you, I've got some PVC fabric coming up in this hour. It's not called PVC, it's called something else, but, and we haven't even done Haley's bundles yet. That sounds, that sounds like an illness, doesn't it? Oh, I've got a bit of Haley's bundles. <laughs> oh, no, it sounds rude. Uh, anyway, buy this. Oh, over half the stock has gone. Keep on going through, though. Keep on going through, because I've got to move on. Now, you're going to go wild. <laughs> wild. No, no, poor old Dale. You can't say that. She's going to oh, go wild in the aisles. They still haven't announced what happened, have they? Oh, he's, he's still got two of my shirts as well, just so you know. 
It was so funny. I'm talking about Dale Winter now. I wore this one shirt on this morning. He used to be in all the time on this morning. And I wore this one shirt and he came in. He went, oh, I love that shirt. And I went, oh, I can get you one. I'll get you one from the PR department. He went, oh, I couldn't wear that. <laughs> that, that kind of, it was all black and sequined. It was lovely. Right, OK. Oh, right. I'm going to show you all of these together. I've got so many different. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'll show you these two together. I'm going to show you these two together, first of all. Because they're both called the same, just different colours, but they're obviously not the same. So I just want you to see. Ready? One, two, three. Look. So this one is called Roses in Red Blossom. And this one is called Roses are Red Grey. But look at the difference in size, just so you know, just so you know they're different sizes. Right, let's do this one first then. Right, this is not, we haven't had this fabric before. Now this is called Roses are Red. Oh, it's back, this is from New Zealand as well. This is the new text from New Zealand as well. Oh my word. Now, do you remember when we used to have a fabric very similar to this? We had to keep getting it in, it sold out, getting it in, it sold out, getting it in, it sold out. This is, oh, do you know what? Look at it, isn't it beautiful? I can see, I can see in my mind, my mind's eye, Crazy Lorraine's jumping up and down, trying to find her phone, or clicking on her mouse to try and get this now. We made trousers out of this. We've made a shirt out of this. We've made, not out of this one, out of this kind of style. Isn't it lovely? Now the roses, I'll put my hand in so you can see the size of the roses. It's 100% cotton, machine washable and colour fast because uh, Caroline, was it Caroline, was told by Mutex that it's 100% um, colour fast as well. That's what Caroline, I haven't washed any myself, but oh, aren't they lovely? Isn't it lovely? Let me hold it up for you. Now remember what I'm showing you here is a metre, so this is £12 for this. But it's 5 99 for half a metre, this one. Isn't it gorgeous? <gasps> Look. Oh, uh, mm. oh, John, lovely. Got mine to make Angel a blanket. Kiss, kiss. That's from Laurie in Suffolk. I'm presuming you talk about the fleece, aren't you, Laurie? You don't want your dog lying on this one, do you? Oh, I'm choosing Angel's a dog. Oh. <gasps> Oh, yeah, that's what they... Well, did you watch Escape to the Chateau? The, the, the voiceover lady, I think was my friend, wasn't it Tracy Ober, 20 and Oberman did the voiceover for that? Anyway, uh, she's at Chichester at the moment doing a show there. But um, she was called... She called her Angel, but her husband called Angela. Well, Angela's not done it today. Look, that's what you get for your 5 99 there. Oh, you're right, Hannah. Do you want the water they just brought in for me? It, oh, you've been drinking... What are you drinking? Roses are red, blossom, isn't it lovely? Do you know what? Do you know what? I don't want to be rude, but I'm going to have to get a move on. Oh, you're right, Hannah. Hit her on the back, Michael. Hit her on the back. Not that hard. She's all right. Now, I have to say, I love that one with the black background, but I love this. Oh, it's the no, it's the no hugging department upstairs. Well, thumping you across the back is not really hard. <gasps> Look! Look, 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 look. I like this one. Oh, ow, ow. It's getting my thingy, just so you know, it's getting really bad now. 5 99 Roses are... Gr oh, no, not roses are grey. Roses are red, grey fabric. Isn't that lovely? Now, let me just um, put it up against me so you can see the proportions, shirt-wise. Yeah, this is more convi convivial to a shirt, isn't it? Now, let's just make a summer dress. Oh, Angel's a cat. Sorry. Sorry, Laurie. Angel's a cat. Look. How gorgeous is that look? You see that? I, I love both of them. Morning, John. On TV, mono fleece looks blue. No, it's definitely grey. It's definitely, it's like a dove grey, a soft dove grey. Right, next one, moving on. Sorry, Mandy. That's right, she's got, oh, oh. 
Right, that's it. That's it of the roses. Now moving on to tulips now. If you love a tulip. Hannah's tulips are a bit de deformed this year, aren't they? Right, okay. This tulip fabric comes in three different versions. This is red scattered tulips. And then they're just coming in now. That's red scattered tulips. This one, red field tulips. And this one, yellow and red scattered tulips. Let's do red scattered tulips first. Oh, right, I'm going to put it on the stand straight away because this is going to look gorgeous. I know I keep doing the same dress on it, but you know what? It just shows it off a bit better, doesn't it? Look. Oh, yes. That is cool. I think you'd wear that on first date, you see, because look, it's going to elongate your body because the line's going down the dress. You don't get a second date, Hannah. The second date won't be televised. I'm talking about first dates on the telly. I've been asked to... My friend Francesca put me up for it, right? Nobody's been in touch. That's a sad old state of affairs, isn't it? But now I've been asked to do this thing at the NEC. Well, I haven't done the deal. I'm going to meet them tomorrow. Where it's with the first date's people, but it's making people over ready for their first date. So that'd be fun. I don't know if it's a telly programme or what, but... I don't think the waiters will be there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. And they're still together now, those two, Hannah. Hannah, those were a gentleman that Hannah quite fancied last week or the week before, but he, they fell in love and they're still together. Red field tulips, this one. That's nice, isn't it? Well, you've had, maybe you have to go on first dates to the television programme, Hannah. Yes, <laughs> but they... <laughs> yeah, oh, no, imagine if we went on, they pulled you and me together because our biogs were so similar. Because it, it's not a coincidence that they both start talking about, I love Disney. I love Disney! Is it? It's not a, not a coincidence, is it? Anyway, look at that. That's beautiful. That's the very... Um, this is field tulips. Red field tulips, look. <gasps> Isn't it gorgeous? I know. I've got to get on because I've got loads still to do. I'll, I'll recap. I know I'm going to go fast. But look, it's 49 already. <laughs> right. OK, 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 OK. Quick, 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 quick. I'm going to go quick from now on then. So this is red and yellow scattered tulips. 5 99 Beautiful. Yeah, they, that would work with the lines going down. Right, now, you know, I promised you... Um, oh, now, I've got... Right. This fabric, right? Same fabric. 100% cotton, laminated. 100% cotton, laminated. Do the 100% cotton first. I think it's called... Um, not promenade. Oh, it is promenade. It is promenade. Now, again, you see... Oh, <laughs> Are you seeing a meter? You're seeing a meter here. This is gorgeous. Look. What town is it, though? It's not Brighton, is it? Is it Bournemouth, do you think? I think it might be abroad, actually. Oh, yes. It's the town with no people. Maybe it's earlier than they've woken up. They haven't woken up yet. It's early in the morning. This would make the most fantastic 50s frock with a big set. Doesn't work like that, but with a big circular skirt. I mean, it doesn't have to. You can use it in the garden, you can use it for cushions, you can use it for drapes, you can use it for curtains. Seaside promenade. It's called Britannia. Oh, it's, it is England. It is meant to be England. Or Great Britain. Great Britain, not England necessarily. Great. Hello, John, it's my birthday and you're my guilty pleasure. You crease me up, Linda in Bedfordshire. Linda? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And why am I guilty? Why are you guilty? Because she spends too much money, that's why. 5 99 isn't that lovely? Got to move on, got to move on. Got to move on. Right, same fabric, but laminated. Well, I say laminated, is that what it's called? Oh, I wouldn't make a frock out of this.
But look, tablecloth for the summer, play mat for the kids in the summer. Oh, when you're going to, what, by the sea? If you have a little cafe by the sea, put it on your tables outside. If you're going to the seaside, you can make a big blanket, like a ground cloth thing to sit on. That's 749, by the way, that's 44 inches wide. That, now, so this piece here would cost you 15 pounds. That piece there would cost you 15 pounds. I'm sorry I'm rushing, but I've still got more fabrics to get through. I'm ever so sorry, I'm ever so sorry. Valerie, so pleased you're selling new text. I used to sell this before I retired. Loving the show, love Val in the very wet Dover. Well, I've got more here. Now this is nice, look at this one. Oh, now this is half a meter. This one is half a meter. Oh, it's a panel, it must be 60 cents. So, oh, okay, oh, I see. Because of their squares, we cut it into a panel. But if you buy more than one, so it's 60 centimeters this, if you buy more than one, they do come joined together. They do, it's the same as buying fabric by the half meter. They will be joined together. It's just so 60 centimeters fits the squares in. Uh, otherwise, we'd be cutting them in. Look, it's all the life from the promenade. No people. No people. I'm not surprised, loads, you put that in your basket. $7.99. Right, okay. I'm sorry to rush, but I've, got, I've still got loads of fabrics here. Uh, I've now got little birds. Uh, now, this is again Nutex. Meadow, it's called. Meadow Birds by Ellen Gigenbach. These are like the twirling dolphins, aren't they? But they're birds. Five ninety-nine. I'm sorry I'm rushing, but look at the time. I've only got minutes. Minutes. Then I've got this gorgeous stripe. Look at this stripe. Now, I think this stripe, oh, it's just beautiful. Look. That's lovely, isn't it? Now, this is saying seaside to me as well, isn't it? Coming close because the stripes aren't straight. Look. 5.99 for half a meter. They're whizzy whizzy. That's a technical term, apparently. They're spirally, they're circly, and they're dotty. Wizzy Wizzy, 5 99 half meter. Sorry, but I, I, mm, I've got one fabric left to show you. This is where the phone lines are going to go crazy. This, ready for this? Actually, put the graphics in first. Give you an idea. Right, watch, ready? Cream vintage holiday caravans. Look. <laughs> This is a meter. This is a meter. Uh, this is a meter that I'm showing you here. Seven pound forty-nine for half a meter. So you can have a watermelon caravan. You can have a doggy bone caravan. You can have a monochrome caravan. You can have a flamingo caravan. Aren't they just brilliant? Seven pound forty-nine for half a meter. Now this is for a different company again. This is Nutex. This is. <laughs> no, I don't. I think it's a word I can't shout out. It's Laura Lee Designs, designed by Laura Lee Harris, and it's called Trailer Toss. I just want you to see all the icons on there the flowers, the cactuses, the stools, the chairs, all the different coloured caravans. Oh, it's about to sell out. I knew it would. Oh, uh, right. We have a feeling that this one will have been put in a project again. Isn't it fantastic, though? Keep your eyes peeled for that one, but that's about to sell out of the half meters today. Right. We can't confirm this. We might just didn't have as much of the others, but it's flying out. Absolutely flying out. Right. Do I need to do bundles? Do I need to do menu? What do I need to do? Bundles. Quick, 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 quick. Right, I'm going to have to do these super, super quick time. These are the bundles that Haley's put together to go with, oh, they've moved, uh, to go with the um, K facet fabrics. But you can just have them to go with anything, really, couldn't you? So there's this one first, which is called Purple Bloom. You get half a metre of each, metre and a half. I haven't got my um, iPad, so I can't tell you what colours they are, but these are the colours you get. Mauve mist, blue and violet. £9.75 for a metre and a half of that, okay. Gorgeous bundles to have, but I need to move on. Next. 
This is fuchsia bloom, so you get the fuchsia, the green, and the purple. One and a half meters, half a meter of each. Nine pounds and 75 pence. Sorry to rush you, I am sorry to rush you, but they'll all be listed underneath me down there. This is, oh, they've already been going out since I showed them last time. Lily blooms, this one's called. Navy blue or dark blue, orange and yellow. Oh, sorry, I don't, you don't want me to do that, do you? Okay. Uh, then which one's next? This one here, which has got pink, blue and brown in it. All Macawa, all machine washable, all 44 inches wide. Dusk blooms, this one's called. Haley's in now, so she can hear us taking the mickey out of her. Brown, blue, and pink, they're laughing, Haley, upstairs at your names. Oh, click, click. Then we've got uh, this one. Sunshine. Sunshine blooms. So you get yellow, pink, and purple in this one for the sunshine blooms. We didn't even have a cave called Sunshine, did we? So I don't know why they've been called that. Right, last but not least, I've gone quickly because I've got to go home. No, I've got to go home. I've got to finish going off there, haven't we? I don't want to drop off, do we? Rosy blooms. Oh, fruity. Orange, pink, and green. Fruity blooms. 9.75 for uh, one and a half metres. Right, OK, quickly, menu, menu, menu. Haley's up there, it's going, it's a beautiful bundle, John. Coming up tomorrow with Natasha. Oh, Jennifer Taylor, oh, I hope she's all right, Jennifer Taylor. Eight o'clock, Jennifer Taylor's Sashiko bag, Sashiko bag. Uh, nine o'clock, fabulous fabric, she's got more fabulous fabrics. 10 o'clock, Jennifer's mock wrap dress. And then at 11 o'clock, great gadgets. How long have I got? Oh, I've got a whole minute. Any of that fabrics in the last show, if there's still any available, please look down there on the web and you'll see them in products from today's show. I'm sorry the second half I had to rush through. So, do what, what? I am busy, why? Uh, Apparently they want me to go to the warehouse to start cutting fabric because they're so behind. Remember, if you've ordered anything over the weekend or today, there will be a delay on your delivery. I apologise. Uh, no, no, I am. I, uh, uh, I, uh, I do 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 apologise about that, but we had such a mammoth weekend. Today has been phenomenally busy, as you've seen. Um, thank you so much for your company. I'm not in now till Friday. I presume Nash Natasha's on. Nasha, <laughs> Nasha, Natasha is on. <laughs> is on for the next uh, three days. Actually, we don't call her Nasha. I promise. I promise. I'll see you on Friday at eight o'clock. Enjoy the week. See you later. We've got a very special deal for you today. If you spend over £50 with us, you will receive Mettler's Pretty Pastel Cotton Thread Pack worth £12.99 completely free. Mettler's stunning pack of eight perfectly coordinating spring pastels is the perfect addition to your sewing box. Just think of all the spring sewing you could do with 150 metres of silky finished cotton. This offer is available for both online and television purchases and the spring threads will automatically be added to your basket at checkout. So stock up on sewing essentials and get this pretty thread pack free with your next purchase over £50. We are moving channels. For those of you who watch us on Sky, please note that our channel number is changing. From the 1st of May, Sewing Quarter will be live on channel 687. Our Freeview channel will remain the same, channel 78, and you'll still be able to watch our live shows every single day starting from 8 a.m. So, if you watch us on Sky, please remember we'll be moving to channel 687 from the 1st of May. I'll see you there.